Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures in the Digimon Adventure Cyber Sleuth. With only like a handful of days before Digimon Survive comes out. Fear. I don't really have a fear face, so this will have to do. But yes, uh, last time I completely forgot that Stealth Hide existed, and no. The game did not save me being stealth hid. Cheaty game. And I just wanted to do the cases that appeared on the board. And then we went and helped Hackmon become Jazzmon by fighting anime as fuck Leomon. And now we have to uh, help this kid solve the seventh riddle with the Pandamon that's, pr I think, rampaging his... Ah, yes, next, the Asakusa monster pick. Do I have to, like, look at it in my inventory? When did I get a memory up? Key item. Monster drawing. It's an animal with a cane. So, I completely forget what, uh, exactly where we need to go, because it's been a few days and my memory is terrible. When it comes to specific specifics. So, let's come here. Kyoko came back. I'm so glad. It's just not the Kirame Detective Agency without her. He has a point. Okay, good. For a moment, it's just like, what, could I fall asleep here? But no, it's just... For some reason, my brain is on the lookout for sleepy places. All right, but let's ask Kyo Kyoko. Apologies for taking so long now. No time for you. Let's go talk to the Royal Knights. I'm looking forward to see what you've learned. Magnamon in Shibuya. Let's hope you can talk him down. Well, I completely forget. I think I have... Maybe I can go to the school, but I don't think I can go to the school. Eh, I'm sure that important thing will finally be revealed if need be. Hmm. Asakusa, why not? Hey, old man. Did he think that he's holding a cane? Did the kid think that the old man is the monster? I see you're looking around a lot. What you looking for? Oh, I've seen this guy. Yes, it was right over there. Let's see, I was walking on by, and that's it. It was at the Central Hospital. I saw him in the lobby of the Central Hospital. All right. Let's go to the Central Hospital. Sorcery mom? Ah, it hurts, it hurts. Well, again, it hurts. That's okay, no need to worry. The pain will go away soon. You don't need to say it so creepily, Sorcery Mom. Sorcer- yes, Sorcery. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Can't you see I'm giving this child urgent medical attention right now? Hang in there just a little bit longer. I am a Digimon. I came through a portal that opened up between two different worlds. I couldn't help but notice that there weren't enough people to care for the patients here, so I volunteered. I heard that other Digimon who came through the portal at the same time have been attacking humans. I couldn't just sit there. That hurts. I know. You just need to be brave it out a little longer, okay? You'll be just fine as soon as your examination is finished. Have we cleared up your misunderstanding now? If so, please leave. More and more patients are coming in and the lobby will be full soon. Huh? What is that? I'm looking for this Digimon. I see. You came here in search of this fellow. Unfortunately, I am not him. That's Wizardmon. <laughs> Neat way to incorporate the two different versions. I can see how you would mix us up, as there's no color in that picture. The shape of the staff is different, though, see? If you're looking for Wizardmon, you should head to Akihabara. I saw him there the other day. Thank you, Sorcerymon. This is cool. Digimon helping humans like that. Like, and not only that, but he, like, volunteered, which implies that the hospital actually is allowing him on an official basis. You aren't real, Gallantmon and X. You are just data. No, he said Akihabara. I'm dumb. Still neat that my 
Digimon show up in the real world now. It's big enough, I should probably organize. Piximon kicks ass, so Lilymon, uh, War, War Growlmon will be placed in. Because he's pretty beefy, so and shouldn't be in danger too much. Whereas my two Piximon and Lilymon are more at danger. I guess at risk would be a better term. Brain bleh. Hey, wizard mom. What? What would ha a human want with me? That picture. Hmm, looks like a child drew this. Did you find this in an elementary school or something? In that case, time for you to disappear. What? Rude. Nightmare 3. Jerk. All right, he's base, so viruses will completely annihilate him. But we shall pit fire bomb you. And we shall change out Cyber Dramon for my Were Gururumon. Atomic Blaster! Blow him away. Haha, -ha, you are weak. Thundercloud. You picked the wrong Digimon to do that to. Now you will die. Never mind, you will live. Piximon, poke him. Yes. <laughs> Aw, sadness. He didn't get stunned as well. It would have been funny. Immobilized by recoil. And then stunned, but no. Piximon saves the day. With his big ass feet. <sighs> okay, yes, I sneaked into the school at night. It was the first time I'd ever seen a human school building, so I couldn't help but take a look around. Well, I guess there's no excuse for leaving it so untidy. Sorry. Please let the person who drew that know that I won't go into schools anymore, so there's no need to worry. But if me leaving stuff around in the school started this seven riddles thing, then I guess that's not good. Turned in monster drawing. Oh, that smug expression. Did you find out who was behind the last riddle? Tell me. It was a Digimon who was confused. It was actually a Digimon? Okay, then it's settled. The case of the seven mysterious riddles is solved. Huh, that Digimon didn't like how it started the rumor about the seven riddles. Okay, got it. If he hates it so much, I'll keep his real identity a secret. You haven't told anybody else, have you? We'll keep the identity of who's really behind the seven riddles as our little secret. <laughs> Good job, kid. I don't even fully understand the seven riddles thing. But sure. So the last of the seven mysteries piqued Wizardmon's curiosity, huh? That, 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 that is not what happened. Translation? Because, as far as I'm aware, like, I completely forget how it all started, but, like, I thought the seven riddles were, like, a pre-existing thing. And then the kid thought the monster was the seventh riddle because, you know, the pinhole eyes of the pre uh, principal and the drippy faucet were the uh, some of the other riddles. So, but just like, oh, the seven mysteries piqued Wizard Mod's curiosity. No, that is not what happened. Wizardmon explicitly said that he was curious about it just being a human school building. I am confused. I didn't peg him for it, but he just might make a decent detective. That is not at all what happened, and I don't think you even know. Problems at Digipedia continued. The same problem has happened again. The Digipedia is at great risk. Could you help me out? To the K-Cafe. And we get teleported. Yay. Shh, keep quiet. Ah, you're the same as always. I estimated your powers of deduction correctly, it would seem. So I have another case for you. I have another similar case for you. It concerns the Digipedia site that I uh, administer. I don't think that's the proper usage of administer. Administer is like you give something. I will administer the medicine or something like that. It's not really one that you work. I think it's because whoever did the translation mixed up admin... And while, yes, there's, like, the administrator is a person who does it, 
you don't really use the word administrator to describe being an admin for a site. I think. At least I've never heard it that way. It just feels weird. And after the ending of the last quest, having a wonky diddly d, my brain is now on. Oh boy, weirdness. This time the problem lies with the uh, the problem with the edits is that they're all lies. Everything that guy has ever written is full of lies. And as usual, I can't undo the block and correct it in any way. I was wondering if that Kansei guy has any uh, has any to do with this. So I got in touch with him, but it wasn't him. It seems it's someone else's work. Incidentally, the pages this guy has been editing are Demon with a Staff, Tanabata Festival, etc. You can go and check out the edit log page. This is to protect the reputation of Digipedia, so please take care of it as soon as you can. Thank you. Doesn't look like the same problem on the main page. I'll go check out the problem of the pa the problem pages then. Tanabata is the one day of the year when Agumon and Agumon, normally separated by the Milky Way, are able to meet. Ah, yeah, I I know this legend. Isn't it about? At least I think it is. I've heard a legend similar to this that I think was Japanese. So, is they're just like I'm going to put Agumon and Agumon in. On Totobata, you write your wish on a piece of paper and hang it from a cherry mon tree. But instead of it being granted, you just die. Lol. Demon with a staff means that anything that a demon is holding is cool. Anything at all. It doesn't even matter. Another name for it is Metal Etamon with a Geckomon slash Sukumon. Or Metal Etamon with a bunch of Boltmon. What? I think I know who the offender is. I wonder if I should try to connect jump. Do it. Just more weirdness, and this just feels like a weird layout. Let's go adventuring. There's so many teleporters. There's so many teleporters. Teleporters, too many. Ah, teleporters, why? Plant guard. Guard the plants. It's plants versus zombies. Is there a zombie Digimon? I don't remember. Because yeah, I think this is the first diversion point. First, quote unquote. There's been a decent bit. Oh boy, we can test and see if we can do crack level four. Oh boy, level four crack. I'll snort it right away. Oh, wait. Let me check a thing. Oh, nope. Level four is the max. Good. I won't have to digivolve my Digimon and risk them being low level. Oh, hey. Erdramon. Oh no, Erdramon. All right, uh, War Growlmon, bring back in Cybertramon. Wait, no. Bring in Lilymon. Ha 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 ha. Because it's a base, a base type. Base type die. <laughs> I forgot. They're not. That, that isn't a boss. It's adorable. <laughs> it's adorable, Digimon. Oh no. I just see decently sized Digimon. I'm like, oh no, it poses a threat. Must be optimal. And then they just get annihilated. I'm sorry, Bergeron. I didn't think that you would just die. I don't remember getting an item from there. I don't remember going left. Them reusing areas feels weird. Kill. And Lilymon can change out with Cyberdramon so that we can be a little bit efficient. Woken Napalm because, eh, it doesn't really matter. They're weak. They're weaklings. They will die for my pleasure because they are digi fools. Digimon Digital Fools. But yeah, the reuse of areas in this section 
like this kind of area is always it just throws me off and yep there's a metal edamon he saw me come in he'll murder me kowagamon you must die eh, annihilate kowagamon must die because he is a silly billy I'll wander around. Just make sure. Did they just add a new... I've... These areas confuse me because there's an open chest, but I didn't open it! Ah! Oh! Well, I guess because we have been through here-ish, because this is supposed to be the Digipedia, so it's I guess it's implying that the Digipedia place has just expanded. We've, we're going further. Maybe that's it. But it just feels weird. It feels odd. But yeah, I just can't wait for Digimon Survive, and I'm going to bring it up all the time because I'm excited. Because if this is what is considered like a lower budget, not as careful Digimon game... Eh, uh, we'll change the Digimon as needed when we get in there. Huh? Do you want some of them? This is where I live, you know. I'm editing this. Dis I'm editing this Digipedia page right now, so please leave. Ah, uh, you're looking for the pages I've edited. Do you want my autograph? Whoa! You came here to tell me to stop writing lies? You've got to be joking. Did you really think I would just say, oh, really? Yeah, sure, and stop just because you came here and asked me. Huh? Oh, I see. You're the one who took down Tintamon's Kansai dialect pages, right? My pages are the best! Absolutely! 100%! You can't just take them down. Mossum Quake! Alright, Pixiemon. Anjuomon replaces you. I like that he flexed an earthquake into an existence. Into in existence. Yes. And we're just going to blast him with Atomic Blaster for big damage. Mossum Quake! You are a weak little man. Get comboed by two vaccines. Oh no, it's an anti vaxxer's worst nightmare. Lol. Annihilation. You know, I was kind of guessing that he was going to be a virus type. And then I just like, eh, I'll just get in there. See what it is. Sam! I give up! I understand. I've got to stop writing all these lies. So many people come to see Digipedia's site, so their reactions were interesting, but... Gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. I suppose I'll try to start up a blog, just like Tintoban, and try to attract people myself. Shut up! Oh, come, oh, come on. How many times do I need to say it? Keep your voice down! Look what you've got and made me do. It's your fault I raised my voice. Anyway, it seems the block has been removed from the pages of false information on them. I'm going through them, gradually correcting them. It's taking more time to correct than the time of the Kansai dialect, but thank you for helping me with this. It's much appreciated. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I just received an email from the person who was making those edits. That's right, the false ones. I'll read it. Mr. Administrator, I'm really sorry to have inconvenienced you. Please pass my thanks on to the kind detective. I'm going to follow Tindemon's example and start up my own blog. I'm going to call it The Liar blog. Everything's gonna be a lie. Check it out. Bye. Well, it seems you're a big hit with the weirdos, wouldn't you say? I just hope there are no copycat editors coming out of the woodwork and pulling the same trick after this. Thanks for your help. It is kind of hilarious. He's like, I'm gonna make a blog. I'm gonna call it the lying blog. Oh, hey, I, I forgot that Cafe and Metal Man were on the same one. I will give you whatever medals I have. Not as many, but still, decent amount. I guess since it's been a while since we've looked at the medals, let's take a look at the medals. We have Agunimon. We, we only have 69 medals. 
Oh no! So few, I thought we would have had a decent amount. But no, we don't even have a hundred. Yeesh. Talk about grinding. There are some on the ground, some that drop from encounters. Digipedia is a hugely popular site used around the world. I know it doesn't feel like it, but you just saved a global community of users from horrific lies, and there are no more dilities to do. So now time to just wander around. Uh, let me get the one that you recommended again. In Shinjuku? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mag yep, Magnamon in Shibuya, not Shinjuku. It did begin with sh, though, so I wasn't too far off. But off we will go to Shibuya. And we can sneak by people. Time to activate Stealth Hide. I'm the invisible woman. Glance down here just to make sure. Hmm. I'll keep this team up just in case. Why is it always the train stations? Do like nocturnal Digimon go down to these tunnels like, ah, it's my home! Die! You got triple comboed. Sucks to be you. Bye bye. Get annihilated, kid. Grown troll. And bird. And I will grab this item. Ooh! Full heals. Kind of surprised there isn't an HP capsule S. Oh no! It's the buff bird. You will not touch War Gra Growlmon. Not War Graymon. That's a completely different one. And we'll just beat you up since we have the turns, so we don't have to waste SP. Alright, now we have two ways to go. Scratch that, make that four ways to go. My joy. Ah, first attack again. I'll see how much we can save with our... If you have lots of SP. Actually, I should have used Anjuamon because she has the most SP, but oh well. And now we will beat down on Aquilamon. Another chain attack. Sucks to be you. Meanwhile, we just have Peldramon in the back seat. this because I don't know which way we'll go back and see if the other two ways are dead ends or not just to be sure primarily because these don't really scare me all that much so just annihilate you get critted boy slap you and this should annihilate you as well if you would have lived, I would have given you a Medal of Honor in the form of a bullet. Because it is something to have been... It would have been something worth acknowledging. But at the same time, executing. I've been here before? 
I've been here before. It doesn't feel like it. But apparently I've been here before. And you <clears throat> All right, we'll annihilate you as much as we can. Un oh, I thought it was gonna be a triple sadness. No, baby, it's not a triple. And Spiky hug that boy. Add insult to injury by being a virus type to hug a vaccine type to death. And we just get a revival capsule, eh? And that makes it feel like it's going deeper. So we're going to go the other way. We're going to go the other way. See that out? Slap him. Hug him. Kill him. Level is up for so many. And because we've been walking around just a little bit, I will high security. Just so that we can actually get to places. Ever so slightly. And once we get to a new, new area, I'll take it off. That's my kind of thing where basically this is my backtrack stopper. And usually backtracking isn't terrible, but still the deal little. little. Yeah, we've been here before. Yeah, this was an ah, this is where Edamon was. And that's just the get behind Edamon trick, so we don't really need to worry about it. We don't need to go down there because there's nothing to surprise. Unless the game is like, hee 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 ho ho! You need to surprise uh, Magnamon! Which would be kind of silly. Slap. Slash. Hey, War Growlmon, do you ever miss having flesh for arms? Or trachea? <laughs> My brain was like, I want to stop to read the sign. I stop. It's Japanese. Hmm. Whoever could have seen this happening? My, what a surprise. I wonder if there ever was, like, a Japanese game, a JRPG or something, that went out of its way to translate, like, the Japanese writing on textures and stuff. Doubt it. Like, not even in a... Like, not in a... Oh, adds, like, a little caption box. Like, this is the important thing. But actually going through and translating and making all the kanji into... English words. Would be ridiculous, and I would not even ask anyone to do it. And then there, there was four kids, so like... We're basically going to do that by just removing all any kind of in <laughs> what is the word I'm looking for any kind of in not inclination but like something the most minute implication of Japanese must be removed for some reason that was four kids they were weird Why did four kids have to be weird? No one will ever know. What? Then why can I come in here? What's the point of this place? I can't go back, but... I didn't come from there. I'm confused. This is my confused face. Also, I just realized the big bird man, Garudamon, his hands are fucking weird. It's like he has two thumbs. I don't like it. It's freaky.
And another revive capsule. Sure. Is this a warning game? Oh. Once again, Brain thought, oh, pressing menu button again would close menu. No, it activates. Uh huh. Alrighty. Ah, hell, they get the first attack. How dare. Oh no. He formed the Metal Man. Whatever will we do? Slap of the bird. Slash of the bird. I wonder what's happening, like, in universe. Like, is just the same Aquilamon, Garudamon hunting us? Or are there just, like, a lot of them down here? But fine, we'll do the final possibility and take the surprise, surprise, roundabout surprise Edamon trick. And if nothing happens, we'll use an export or something. We've already been through here. Nothing really matters. Unless there's a second exit. Is there a second exit now? The fact that it's highlighting the railroad is weird. But I'm going to check out that second path. I don't remember there being a second path. But at the same time, the Edamon thing was a long time ago and I'm dumb. This could just be, oh, an item over here. Or different exit. Dead end or exit? Place your bets now. Dead end. I am dumb. But that would have been cool. I still don't know why it's like highlighting the railroad tracks. Magnamon. But I don't, I don't, do I... Do I force an encounter here? No. Hmm. But there wouldn't be a dungeon for no reason. But the only, like, added part of this dungeon... Because, like, this dungeon is just the Edamon dungeon. I'll turn my face back. But yeah, this dungeon is just the Etamon Chase dungeon, but with an added part. Wait, did I completely forget that there was... Okay, thank God that I didn't do... Thank God that I didn't go ahead and be like, I'm just going to export out of here. I wanted to double check things because I did not realize this existed. I guess I will take off my security. Because we're in a new area now, again. Or at least an area that feels new. Makuramon. And up we go. Magnamon. Magnamon. Magnamon? Oh, that's... Uh, 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 uh. You look the scariest. Die. Get triple punched by all our main attacks. Ugly boy. Ugly man. Ugliest man to ever man. Get nuked from orbit. I think this guy is just a champion, so really this is overkill. Never mind, he lived! He is a whore! Oh no. They're dangerous. Great, a panic wisp. Faster. How come? How come? How come? 
None of my status effects get applied, but all of theirs do. Doesn't really make sense. At least it'll be faster level ups. I knew there would just be an item down here. Sage disc. We downloaded all of the mem- Wizard Mon, I thought you would turn over a good leaf, but you lied. And there's a big boy. Oh no. Well, I'm not- That guy's fast. I just realized. He has chesticles. Not nice. Annihilation beam. Okay, he's a limp biscuit. Good. And then I'll just annihilate you. How dare you be here? Die. But yeah, this area is uh, out to skin me. This is what it feels like. Why can we go up? Why can we go up? That's my question. Get comboed, fool. I hope you don't live. Cause that would be terrifying. Thank you for dying. Thank you, please don't return. Okay. Proper calculations. Smack him, kill him. Atomic blaster. I have no idea why War Gr Growlmon is just like, I'm going to go twice. But we do not begrudge. We do not begrudge the boy. This guy? It's the Limp Biscuit. Kill. See? Why? Why is he? Why is he the guard of the thing? Wasn't even worth that much experience. Obviously, they want me to go over there, where the glitched train now just disappeared. But me, I want to know what's back there. What was behind the shiny orb of doom? An item. Huzzah. Hmm, SP sprays. They're nice, because you can't buy them anywhere. You guys again! I think we've already established we are heavily out of your league. And now we'll just slap you. Slap it good. Level zaps for every zaps. And now we shall continue on our adventure. Into the hellhole. Will Magnamon be a train? I don't know. But he's supposed to be down here somewhere. Yay, I went the right way. I'm just on a roll getting all of these side paths to give me items. All right, let's see if we can handle this just as good as last time. Please don't live. Thank you for dying. We attack them. He lives. For some reason, he doesn't go twice this time, but oh well, we bring it down to one. I'm gonna panic, Wisp. You hit the same one again. Slap him. Oh wait, it's not your turn. Die anyway. How dare you use Panic Wisp? Only to do seven damage, like a fool. Are their names actually Megadramon and Gigadramon? Where's Terra Dramon? 
You again with your nipple tattoos. Get out of here. I just realized that we're going to be going up against a, uh, a royal knight. Probably. Considering that we're diving through a dungeon to get to him, the likelihood that we're going to be running into a violent royal knight that was being blocked off by the military... Oh no. But let us see... We shall save here. Basically, w I want to have the best chance of just running straight to him in case I die. Oh, I, I, I thought... My brain just like, there's just an item here. And then I look to the right. Oh, it's because train tracks. Farm, farm, farm. Tons of farm. But apparently a farm development kit will allow me to then make a new farm, right? New farm island. These hand places! And all of the train, like, sim not symbolic, like, uh, iconography? Because it's always been train tracks leading here. Hello. So you want me to help protect this world? I'm sorry, but I can't answer you just now. Why not? In all honesty, I am of still two minds. The destruction the Eaters unleashed on our world was caused by the cyberspace that humans created. Many Digimon believe that the reason such hideous things were born lies in the human heart. If that's true, humans are a threat to all worlds. Leopardmon's course of action would therefore be correct. I then came here and found Digimon being used as tools by evil humans. But then there are those like you, working to undo this situation. I really don't understand you humans. Which side truly embodies what humanity is about? I don't know. Which are Surely there are evil Digimon. You're gonna fight me, aren't you? I had some companions as well. When the two worlds were joined, I brought my tiny companions here to save them from the Eaters. Unfortunately, we were separated amongst all the ensuing chaos. They are still young and frail. They might have been captured by evil humans. If something happened to them, I would not forgive the human race. I will determine my position towards humanity based on their fate. Who are they? <laughs> she actually said time. Are you going to bring Lotmon and such? Hang on, hang on, hang on, wait! Great, just in the nick of time. I went to the agency. Kyoto told me to come here. Your Magnamon. Boy, have I been looking for you. You have? Look, guys. We finally found him. Yep, Lopmon and Tokamon. Magnamon. Y you're all here, and you're all right. Magnamon, these humans, Noki and the others, saved us. Saved you? Humans did. <laughs> we finally found you. Way to go, Kyoko. Now we know where most of the Royal Knights are. We're all together now, right, Omnimon? Omnimon? Omnimon, are you working with the humans? I am, Magnamon. You should understand why. It is an error to eliminate them as dangerous. But they caused the devastation of our world. Nokia and the others know that now, and they wish to help resolve the situation. It is the humans who will give their all in the fight to save both Digimon and the human race. Leopardmon believes that their destruction may well save all Digimon. Still, is it right to rush to this conclusion and wipe out those we might come to an understanding with? I do not agree. Magnamon, we love Nokia. We were so happy that we could be with her. While I had my head in the sand with worry, you all acted to save my companions. When you act, everything will work out. A human taught me that. A human named Nokia. Omnimon, enough. The clouds of my confusion have parted. Even if it sullies the name of the Royal Knights, I must repay this debt I owe the humans. Nokia, let humans and Digimon join together. I will do whatever I can to help. Yeah, thanks, Magnamon. Do not be deceived! It's you bitch again. Fail to sense my approach, Omnimon? Hm, you fool. Dinosamon! Magnamon, lend not your ear to their sweet words. 
Have you forgotten our clash of the Eaters attacking our world? Or the cries of our fallen comrades as the Eaters devoured them? Any chance of our joining hands of human beings faded the instant they created their cyberspace. You should stand with us in fealty to the will of King Drasil as a royal knight. If it's King Drasil's will that I should harm these youngsters, then... I shall not act in fealty. I cannot ignore the debt I owe those who save my companions. I fail to comprehend this. Why you would side with these foolish humans. There may indeed be fools among them, but not all of them are like that. I would rather gamble on their brightness, for they saved my companions from their dilemma. Kill! 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 Time to kill! Ah, so you're a base type. I find you quite basic. <laughs> Pixie Mon! Your annihilation will be glorious. Obliterate him! So weak, Dinosmon. <laughs> you are nothing more than a fool before my might, Dinosmon. You will die a horrible, painful death. And immobilized. Oh, he's now he's using his special. That's freaky. You killed the boy! I shall bash your face in before I heal so that you don't just go bleh. Hmm. I shall do a revival because I am not afraid of you. And plus I got just a fucking fuck ton of revival capsules getting to you. Blast him. And now you die. Down to your face. Memory up time. Woohoo! Did we kill him? You stand at a disadvantage now. I will return this debt to you without fail. As you wish, my mind is made up on this matter. Ah, but I wanted to die. Thanks, Magnumon. I can't tell you how happy I am to have a friend I can count on as much as you. It is I who should thank you. You gave me the opportunity, and I will always be your ally. Call me whenever you need me. Oh, yes, as a sign of my cooperation, I shall offer you this. Harmonious will. Magnumon, one of the Royal Knights, is now an ally. Better report this to the office. I see. Magnamon has become an ally. He is a leader among the knights. We have made a powerful friend. Why is that a help to head tilt? Huh? How come I know so much about the Royal Knights? Well, you were seeking them out. Think about it. I'm a detective. Of course I've investigated them. At this rate, you are totally... I would not be surprised if you were also a Royal Knight in disguise. At this point. Too much weird stuff has been going on. You disappearing... Showing up at the right time to talk philosophy with Suido? Hmm, you want to know how? Well, that's going to have to be a company secret for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, your questions will be answered. Alright, two digilines. Are they important? There's no danger on the farm. You can sit back and relax. Or can you? No new quests, which means, what do you suggest? Go after Doodledy? Taking so long now, ba 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 Mirai Mikigura likely knows something about it. Go see what she has to say. Well, eh, I guess it would be important, since we have, like, the Harmonious Will and the Steel thingy. Probably go talk to her, then we'll go probably beat up... Oh, we'll probably have two Royal Knights to beat up the Centaur guy with. Summoning the Special Digimon will take some time. Why not head back to the office? It's been a while. I'm sure there are cases waiting. I swear, if cases have prop cropped up right in between the times. Hello, Ryota. Oh, Neon, I've heard there have been more sightings of the white boy. If that's true, it could be a chance to take a few photos. Really, Ryota? A 
Well, that's not a case, Ryota. I have no case. I guess I'll wander around. He did say, ooh, maybe that's a hint to be like, Go to Eden. Go to Kowloon. It might be a thing to say, hey, go to Kowloon level 5. Maybe, but I'll look around this place. On the offhand chance that there are any other exclamation points waiting for me. If there are any secrets. P Hello, Victory Uchida. Victorious greeting! Victorious gifting! Victorious leaving! Such an odd little man. He is hilarious. I guess I can sell whatever few medals I've gotten. Apparently they were enough to be 600 yen worth. Which is probably pocket change, all things considered. Hate when cameras do that. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Oh yeah, I think the game is telling me, Go to Eden. Go to Eden. See? So, I guess I'll go double check with Mire. Make sure she's like, oh yes, do things. So I guess I'm gonna go to Eden. Okie dokie. To Eden I go, I guess. Ah. We will check out all the forums first, just to make sure there's still that one guy standing there ominously. We'll go to Zaxxon. Those are just people standing around. With their default dialogue still active for some reason. I'll quickly check level 5 Kowloon. Nope, guy's still there. I guess I'll check the Eden entrance, the various Eden places. Don't see anything. What is it? Maybe it wants me to go back to... Like, uh, the earlier Kowloon places, because that's where the Pale Boy shows up. Because the only thing I have is go do more cases, but I already did all the cases. And then Ryota saying, oh, there's been sightings of the Pale Boy. I doubt the Pale Boy will be here. And I'm sure that if I go too far... Nope, he won't even come and attack me in the free area. Good, this area is safe now. This area is not only safe, it is free! Well, I guess I'll go check out the various areas of Kowloon, maybe activating my dibbity da to not get into fights. In fact, come to think of it, we haven't actually heard much from any of the other rebels since Valhalla. I think they're all dead. Hey, did you hear? The Saxons challenged the Under Zeros. It was pretty amazing. Capturing the Under Zero Fortress is hard enough, but it seems that there was a battle with another team on top of that. The recently founded rebels and the veteran Judes appeared as well, and it turned into a three way brawl. From what I heard, the Saxons were driven to defeat, but their leader, Yugo, barely made it out alive. Some guy told me the other day that he saw him on Kowloon Level 1. There's a rumor going around that Yugo is actually a ghost, like some kind of immortal hacker. He just keeps coming back to life. But, I mean, come on, all this talk recently is stupid. It's an avatar. He can't be alive or dead. Yugo is the one who introduced Digimon programs to hacking, so he's kind of a living legend. There are lots of rumors about him. 
Are you okay now? What are you doing? Where are you? What? A living legend? An immortal hacker? Raised from the dead? Hmm. These rumors about you go are really starting to get out of hand. Well, of course, I'm sure you're not foolish enough to believe any of them. I've met him! Why do- why- this would have been- uh... Anyway, we have a new case from the legend man himself, so please come back to the office. Oh, sure, just mock me more, why don't you? Also, I just realized the construct in the back of the Kowloon playground are giant, like, servers. That's it. So Yugo somehow posted a case? Yuko and Yugo. I want to discuss the details in person. It's about Yugo. I'll be waiting in my brother's hospital room. Another memory up. So Ryota was only there to be like, Go hear rumors. And then I went and hear rumor. And it's nothing really that we've heard. Like, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. And I have lots of things to sell, apparently. Anything else? To the central hospital. To the room. Which I think is in the special ward. Anyone found permission is prohibited. But I was asked to come here. Uh, case? Room number from- oh, there's- Ah! Come on, we've been to his room before! Why do we need a room number? We've been to his room before! Hey, you're Yuko's friend, right? Huh? Yuko's room? We can't just let anyone go in there, you know. Okay, tell you what, I didn't see you or anyone else, so just go ahead. It'll be our secret. Thank you for taking on this case. To be honest, I'm thinking of just deleting my Yuko avatar. If I do, the Zaxons will fall apart and they won't be any and there will be won't be any such hacker as Yugo anymore. I've been thinking of doing this ever since the Under Zero incident happened. The Yugo avatar is something I received from Rhea. Yugo is a special avatar. It allows you to pass through the system even if you have the wrong personal information. Rhea told me whenever I was using the Yugo avatar, I really and truly became Yugo. I was being subconsciously manipulated by using the Yugo avatar. I just became a puppet that controlled the hackers whenever it was convenient for Rhea. I was being controlled by Rhea's wishes and was unable to defeat my enemies, so I've decided to destroy the Avatar. Yes, as you said, even though Rhea has a connection to the Avatar, it belongs to my older brother, Yugo. Deleting it will be heartbreaking. I would at least like someone there to, be, to witness it. Could you please be there to witness the last moments of Yugo of the Zaxons? That's my case for you. So a, fi a viking funeral for a virtual avatar. It's just going to be happening here. When I push this button, the avatar you go will be deleted. Goodbye. What? The avatar can't be deleted? And why can't I delete the account while I'm logged in? Weird, huh? There are people who saw you go in Eden. I haven't been using the you go avatar ever since the Under Zero incident. Has someone hacked the account? But there's no evidence of hacking. What if we plug Yugo into the Super Lotus Eater machine? Neon, I'm changing the goal of the case. We need to go and find the one responsible for hacking the Yugo account. To think that someone would steal my brother's account when we were going to delete it, it's, it's just awful. Even now, there's someone else walking around Eden pretending to be my brother. I have to stay calm and get it back. I can't allow this to go on. I don't care how much it costs or how long it takes. It won't be easy, but in this case, I guess I'll overlook any illegal acts you need to carry it out. Go and have a look around Eden and bring me back the criminal who did this. I will, of course, search as well. All right, you go, Crusader girl, huh? Isn't it dangerous to go without Digimon? Don't make fun of me. I've prepared the sub Digimon on for my Yuko Kamashiro account. I don't have any, I have anyone quite at the level of an ultimate Ra is Greymon or a Machine Dramon, but I'll be okay. 
The eyewitness account he said he saw was said he was on Kowloon level one, right? Let's split up and search. I'll go on ahead. Anyway, let's go to Kowloon level one. Yuko has contacted me to tell me the case has changed. First it's the rumors that got out of hand, now it's the Avatar. I tried looking in, uh, looking for it, but Yuko's account has a thick firewall and couldn't access it from the outside. It looks like we'll have to search on foot. Please go and ask around about Yuko's whereabouts in Kowloon. Still, I don't know who it is, but anyone capable of hacking into an account with a firewall that thick must be a genius hacker. Or oh, they're a ghost! Waspmon at the farm is at max level. I shall go to Eden from here. Luckily, I just have to go to Kowloon level 1 and annihilate all the babies that would stand before me. Fear me. I have a pixie and two buff men behind me. And in some continuities, I suppose the pixie also would be quite buff. Fear me. Oh, that's adorable. Let me tell you straight, you're my hacking tool now, got it? You'll do as I damn well say. But why? Why? Because I said so. Man, I really li don't like being bossed around. What if we were friends instead? I help you, you help me, it's kind of nice. I, uh, is this how Digimon programs are supposed to work? Well, at least <laughs> that Digimon showed that bully what for. Ever since Enter Zero, both real life and Eden have been a mess. Yugo's whereabouts. I heard the team broke up after Valhalla server, so where would you go if you were Yugo? I mean, you'd pretty much be a ghost. Why don't you check the cemetery? Harsh. <laughs> Goodbye, small child. I should probably heal my Digimon before we run into a god. Yes, 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 what is it? Trivia, what are the items you can place in a Digifarm? Farm goods. And assholes like you. Heal, heal. Heal, heal. Heal. You there, small man. I wonder if Eden's gonna be okay. First the old president, now the CEO. The brass are dropping like flies. Hugo. He's like an urban legend. He's here, but not. He's gone, but here. Turn around, and he's suddenly behind you. Think he's there, and realize you're alone. Seems pretty ghostly to me. You'd think that'd be a bad thing, but his ghost ghostliness leaves an even stronger impression. That's charisma. That's the mark of a real legend. His skill at hacking is also legendary. People still talk about his punishment for the foreign company that tried to take Kamishiro over. He used a Digimon program to get into the company's server. Destroyed all their data. Come to think of it, he was really the one who proved the power of Digimon programs to hackers. That incident really redefined hacking. Really? I don't think I heard about that incident. You small little man. Ever since Zaxxon disbanded, hackers have been really going rogue. Kowloon will probably stay a lawless area until Yugo is able to reunite everyone. Using Digimon programs, he became Eden's top hacker in one fell swoop. But with all the stuff happening lately, I wish he'd come back. <coughs> Something you'd like to ask? Speak up, then. Oh, you want to know about Yugo, do you? I've seen him, you know. With these two eyes, it was a long time ago, down on Kowloon level two. Actually, I feel like I might have even seen him again today, because today is just that lucky. A day you see you go can't be beat. That phrase is my lucky charm. <laughs> all right, time to... We're going to go all the way to level five, aren't we? March, march, march. Search Kowloon level two. Oh, hey, Yuko. What the hell? Well, say something already. You're freaking me out here. I know a hacker from the Zaxxon, so I went to talk to him, but I'm not used to this avatar yet. It's hard to speak properly, and I don't look right, which is weirding me out. Want me to handle it? Of course, Hugo and I are 
one and the same. Well, we are and we aren't. This is an email from Yuko. This is from the person who hacked the account. What do you think he's planning? I am waiting for you in the place I was born. An Avalon server URL is attached to the ser uh, message. Avalon server? That's where Rhea asked me to be, be the leader of the Zaxons. That's when I first became Yugo. It's the place where Yugo was born. But the only ones who know that are myself and Rhea. Neon, this is probably a trap. We should go together. All right. Let's go. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, that's what I was saying. To Avalon! We finally found you. Who are you? I am Yugo, leader of the Zaxons. Stop kidding around. You give that avatar back right this minute. Is this avatar important to you, Yugo? You know my name? Of course I am. I, of, of course, I am Yugo. Isn't this the avatar that you've been using in Eden for so many years? It seems that you think this account has been hacked, but that's not true. No one is logged in as me. Don't lie to me. Nobody is logged in. Indeed, it's just as you say. But this is an account that was created by Rea Kashibe with its own AI in order to manipulate you. Yugo, the ideal hacker who was designed to unify all the hackers of Eden. That is who I am. You, you're an AI that was built into my avatar. You're a program? Exactly. Even though you are a quiet and reserved person, you are able to be Yugo. I am the reason that was possible. Do you understand now? But... You and I have been partners all these years, and yet, why would you try to erase me? Anyway, without me you can never be Yugo, right? Yet you still want to delete me. You became me in order to protect Eden, didn't you? Yes, I did. I was alone and powerless, so I didn't, I didn't think I could protect Eden, so I accepted Rhea's invitation. My brother, who I respected more than anyone, protects the Eden our father created. The Avatar looks just like my brother, so it has always felt just like we were together. I see. Okay, from now on, let's protect Eden together. I have nothing but contempt for Rhea. You're without question the best brother anyone could ask for. It's for that very reason I felt comfortable, terrible as I am. Because of that I was manipulated by Rhea, and in the end I threw my father's Eden into chaos. I won't allow myself to depend on you anymore. Today... I will delete you! You can't delete me. I was created to protect Eden. Eden is the only place I can exist. I thought so too. But there are certainly places outside of Eden where we can live. Maybe that's true for you. But I am a program. I cannot live anywhere else. But I understand now. You and I, we're different people. M Machine Jamon, why? You're my Digimon! Machine Jamon and I fight together. It seems he still sees me as you go. Reese Greymon, it seems he's chosen you. But can you beat me, I wonder? Without me, you can't talk to your companions. Please don't misunderstand. I don't want to hurt you, but I just don't want to be deleted. Neon, I see. So you've made your choice. How we think, where we live, our Digimon, our friends. We are completely different. The only way to decide this is with a battle. We are proud hackers of Eden, are we not? That's what I want. I've decided to split myself in two. An emotional battle, it seems. Virus type, eh? We shall annihilate you, little man. Little false baby man. Atomic Blaster! Oh boy, Infinity Cannon. Celestial Arrow. We should be able to tank another hit. Desolation Claw. Get out of here. I forgot that his arm's a frickin' revolver. It's 
celestial arrow. Get hit in the dick. Get hit in the dick. More gun. Face the power of gun. You picked the wrong Digimon to slap. Atomic Blaster. Ah, you're gonna heal. Gonna heal like a little baby boy. I'm gonna blast your crotch again with a giant magical arrow. Attack Charge Field. Wasn't a handy a bit ago, but oh well. Get blasted in the face! Oh boy. Oh wait, this also pushes his thing back a bit. Works for me. You didn't need to do that, you fool. Celestial arrow! Blast him away! Fack. Don't kill! Don't kill! Liberty Jibble kill. <laughs> Just realized I haven't really been used. Master Guard, you say? I haven't really been using the defend option at all. I keep forgetting it exists. I see. I suppose I have to disappear then. No, I won't delete you. Then, but, okay, you go, you go. The real me is still in here. I see. In that case. Delete yourself? Why did you make a sudden turn? It's like, no, I've decided that I will not delete you. Even though saying, Oh, I must delete you for various reasons. And then it's like, I don't want to be deleted. Then we fight. It's like, fine, I won't delete you. And then the AI was like, actually, fades away. Like that one meme gif. What? Stop staring at me. I'm not going to cry, you know. Rise, Greymon. I'm no longer you, Go, but will you stay with me? What? Well, thanks. Hilarious. You digivolved and have no a different body than before. I'm happy for you, but I miss your old form just a little bit. The case is closed. Thank you. By the way, I'm in the middle of doing a round of the cake shops in Nakano. Shall we go? No, 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 don't worry. It's not like I'm going to go binge eating or anything like that. I just need to get over it, that's all. Are you coming or not? Let's go eat cake. And have it too. Indeed. Yuko thought the cakes were so delicious she just kept eating and eating until the manager ended up crying. <laughs> Why did the manager cry? She was late contacting me so I was worried and then that was what she had to say in the end. I know we normally work in a case to, to the end and provide the client with support afterwards, but maybe we should pass on it this time. However, I have seen many instances of accounts being stolen by Digimon. For a human-like AI to start stealing accounts like that. When it comes to programming an AI and a Digimon are basically the same. Eh, I, I seems that more and more strange things are happening in cyberspace. <laughs> you nod and say uh-huh just like everyone else but even you could be referred to as strange don't you think? I'm a protagonist I'm silent. <laughs> Yeah, that was just an odd end. If you ask me. And another memory up! Nice work. Looks like your cases are going well. Oh yeah, shouldn't Mire be just about done with her preparations at this point? I shall use the memory up before I forget. It keeps giving me memory up like it's expecting me to digivolve my freaking Digimon. I, I'm not gonna do that. It's too risky! It's too risky to go and have like super like maybe hmm. I'll save we can see because I don't want to have like super low level Digimon can't even uh, Digivolve you 
can to do two digivolves because eh, the ABI. We'll take a look at them and then revert. War Growlmon, Digivolve 2. Dark Dramon. Ooh, his stats aren't terrible. When I... Revert, I'll have to see, like, what stats our boy War Growlmon are at. Or Graumon is vastly more powerful than his other form. But with a little bit of grinding. Yeah, but none of them feel right. And the only ones that do feel right were probably behind the freaking uh, ABI. Why is there not a mod to just... Oh, yeah, that would also explain why. Of course, there wouldn't be a mod to get rid of the ABI. Because this has online functionality. And if you tried to do anything with the online functionality, the game would be like, Ah, oh, you're hacking! And probably ban you. Hilariously, you can Digivolve. Well, let's take a look and see what the evolution's like. Lilymon Digivolve 2. Magnadramon! Not a, not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, it's just like, I don't want to go through all the trouble of re-leveling up War Gro like, to de-digivolve War Growlmon to get the ABI, and then have to level up Growlmon, digivolve Growlmon into War Growlmon, then level up War Growlmon to then digivolve again. It's like, way too much is wasted there. And let's see what this is. Lotus Moth. Why do you look like a gun? Why are all of your diddly Ds super weird looking? Because I'm probably just going to keep all my Digimon at ultimate level because their stats aren't going to go, like, their stats are going to go too low to a degree. Maybe, mm, I don't know. Like, it just feels odd. It just feels odd. And again, the ones that I want to do that are probably more in line with the character aren't available. Oh yeah, but I need to talk to you. Apologies for the wait. Let's get started, shall we? Are we going to... Are you going to fuse the cats? All right. They get the special ditch evolution. Really? I thought they were going to kiss. Sadness. And that all happened in this room. <laughs> Show me this power. I open an entrance to a parallel world with Mastermon's power. You can use it to leap across the dimensions. You should find what you seek there. Okay, didn't expect that. Are we gonna see the... What? Is that an alternate me? Tracked! Just as Phoebe had this amazing digivolution. That stupid bearded Digimon! Never mind, this is alternate Nokia. It's alright, Rina. I'm gonna train some more and challenge him. Fine, whatever, wait, no, not fine. If you're gonna do it, go do it on your own. I wanna watch TV and read some manga. What are you talking about? I should just let my stolen power go? Power? That would be a problem, but oh, what do we do? Uh, hey! Wait. Bup -bup -bup. Could it be 
Is Hacker's memory gonna take place in this world? Why else would there be a full character like this? Whoa! You, you just appeared out of nowhere, like, with a p pop! Whoa, 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 hey, is this magic? A hidden camera? Where's the camera? How do I look on the video? Hey, hey, you, come on, say something, will ya? What's going on? Hey, 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 hey! It looks like you managed to cross between the dimensions without incident. I can't go there myself, but I can see you very clearly. The boisterous girl is Rina Shinomiya. Ask her about what you see. She will surely lead you to it. <laughs> what is that? Paracel Worlds? Cool, cool. Fascinating, even. So you came from somewhere to somewhere, but it's sort of somehow method, right? Yeah, I get it. Not really, but okay. Anyway, you want to meet Old Force v Dramon, right? And you're a tamer, too, right? Oh, wow, wowzers. Nice timing. Perfect timing. You're very good and very cute. You'll make a great helper. We're off to beat up Barbar. With a helper here, nobody needs to retrain all over again from the beginning. It's settled then. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? To where? Duh, it's obvious. To that sort of wavy wavy kind of place. Barabar is hiding all out and all sneaky like in there. We get in and then you pound the pulp out of him. I'm sorry, Rina's always like this. To translate, up ahead is a place where space is warped. Barbamon is there. We're going there to defeat him. Barbamon is one of the seven deadly Digimon. He's a mega Digimon. Rina and I defeated Barbamon once before, but... And revived Barbamon, then stole all the power I had accumulated up to that point. So we'll pound Barbar and restore Vivi's power, but it'll mostly be you doing the pounding. So, help her from a caramel world. Join us in our battle for revenge. Yeah, well, I just I just told you I liked you. You are like Mega Nokia. On crack. But you do understand that I do need ultra... Force Vmon. Hey there, I'm Vivi, Rina's partner, at your service. Okay, so Vivi has showed up and our supporters from a parallel world are here too. You finally got it right. We're going for it. I'm gonna smack you silly, Bumblemon. Just you wait. <laughs> Rina, that makes you sound like the bad guy. Very interesting. What did you just say? Oh, I forgot. Andrew Oman's about to fucking die. Well, hopefully War Groundmon can just annihilate. But yeah, this feels a little weird. This alternate universe business. I'm gonna have to steal Vivi from her. Or at least borrow her, borrow Vivi for a little bit. All right, let's go beat people up. <laughs> um, welcome. Is it always sir? <laughs> it's always service to smile, no matter where. I feel sorry for you. I'll buy 10 of these, because I don't... Let's buy 10 more. I have no use of money. I already have a bunch of... I'm going to buy more multi-recoveries. Because I'm scared. I'm not scared of you. Kill. What an odd decline. You know, when I was buying the super heals and repairs, I wasn't expecting to be ambushed by babies. Who sends babies to fight? I was going down the stairs! Assholes! Annihilation to your face. Annihilation to your face. Ah, shit. But at least we can annihilate you. If you survive, I'm slapping you. Kill the armadillo. 
You have failed us all. Luckily, the punishment ran upon you alone. How dare you not die? If this misses, it would have been comedy, but I would have been annoyed. And I got an aquamarine. Barbaman. Barbaman. I'm here to murder you. Barbitoman. I'll send my attack towards you because you are most likely to cause trouble. I'll walk and napalm him because let's. Why did my uh, double double not double double? Mm, oh well. Maybe I just misread it. Well, we get my double double anyway. Die. Annihilation upon your family. Annihilation upon your house. I just realized. War Grelmon has some fabulous hair. He looks like an anime protagonist. Dear little children, we want to murder you. Two of these guys, but they're nothing. They're nothing, nothing. We'll kill them even though we're at a disadvantage. How dare you live? And now we'll annihilate the other one, and then Vivi will annihilate the one that's on crutches. It's the perfect balance. Balance does everything need be. Bye bye, small child. <laughs> Get it? He makes a V formation for victory. Or maybe he's a hippie. Parallel world IC card. Hilarious. Annihilate the children. How dare you live. We'll just be extra careful. Annihilate his face. How dare you live. Luckily, he's being a buff man. His doom is now. How does it feel to be buff but also dead? Mwahaha! And uh, just a little thing. I'm gonna make sure that, like, all of my proper moves are in place. And... Shining laser... No. You have a lot of moves, my dude. We haven't been run running into that many, so Gaia Element. I did not expect to be going into a parallel world, all things considered. It's 
especially because it's kind of just a repeat of what we've already been through. This is literally a repeat of what we've been through. Annihilation to your fashion. I think I just wasted an SP capsule with that. And this place doesn't even have crying children or an item box. Totally lesser. And time to once more stand by me. Down this way. Hey, Barbamin. Barbo Bing. Bodily be bop boom Bee ba 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 Ugly man. He does have a beard. I finally found you! How dare you, you punk! Okay, let's make short work of this creep. I turn my power to me, Barbamon! So you're back even though I let you go. With the power I stole from you, I will conquer this world as a super-duper extra-deadly Digimon! Well, what about it? If you work for me, a quarter of the world will. This is my chance. Take this, huh? What? You fucking kick the Digimon? You are fighting the Digimon. You are a weird person. Hmm, a surprise attacks are hardly fair. Rina, you just attack, Nabbit. This world is weird. If Rina is a guest fighter for this, ah, oh, Rina is not a guest fighter. I am sad. Blast his face off. What? Oh. oh. We got a four? We, we got a four? We got a four combo? And that barely scratched him. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He's a scary man. I'm going to guard break you. All right, that's not that damaging. Uh, uh, do we want to... Uh, atomic Blaster. So yeah, this guy is... Defensed. Burst flame, air no, not even area effect. Just a new form of bibbity ba. Keep blast him in the face with arrows. It's a Skyrim. And I'll go ahead and attack break you too, why not? Atomic Blaster, cause screw you, you ugly man. You're ugly. You're ugly, and so is your uncle. Desolation Cannon, Claw, Bibbidi Ball. Be blasted by vaccines, virus man. No. Blasted by vaccines to your ugly face. Magic binge. Well, we're gonna... This is basically the game saying kill him now or die. Immobilize my recoil. But yeah, this is the game saying, kill him now, or you will perish. Huh? 
69. Nice. Desolation Claw! And because I want to play it safe, I'm just going to uh, HP spray my team. Because bad things are probably going to come up. That actually wasn't that horrifying. You are a bubbly bee. You're a loser. You're a loser! Like, honestly, you're kind of a loser. Eh, well... Nightmare Cannon. Do a backflip, old man! Do a backflip! Another magic bandage? This is just gonna let us kill you more! I thought you were gonna be scary! Die! Die! His buff is what killed him! I don't think I need memory! My power! My power! <laughs> my power, my power. <laughs> that power is me and Vivi's blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, Vivi, come on, go for it. All right, I'll give my power back. <laughs> no! I am Old Force Vidramon. <laughs> Surprised? Vivi, I'm going in for the finisher. Okay, Rina. You just gonna let her pound on the old man? Ray of victory, spray of history. Rina, that doesn't even make sense! <laughs> ah, to be done in by such... such triteness! No! Lol. Ah, Rina, at least remember the names of the moves. You're always so random. Really? But whatever. We won! Remember me? I'll be back again and again and again and again! <laughs> I think he killed himself with a heart attack. I need to borrow your VV. Thanks. You really helped a lot. And so, yeah, there's... Like, like here's who you wanted to meet. Old Force Vidraman, also known as VV. Rina, that's no, there's not a serious bone in your body. And you, what business do you have with me? I need you to help beat up a royal knight. I see, your world is in terrible danger. I understand. Now it is my turn to help you. Rina, I... Yeah, I know. I'll see you later, Vivi. I'll always have your back, even when you're on a distant world, okay? Rina. Jeez, hurry up and go already. We're not good with tears, you and I. Did you fulfill your objective, Neon? I'll open the entrance then. Come back. Come on back. Rina, I swear I'll come back. I will be back. Vivi, I know for sure I'll see you again. This is like the end of a Digimon anime. After all the adventures, they have to go to a new world. Welcome home. You now have the power to oppose Kentaro Simon. We should thank Rina Shinomiya. Hmm. I have to thank that pretty girl. As a thank you, give her all my money! You came through! What? I should have seen this coming. Man, Honeydew Melon would sure hit the spot. Anything sweet would do. Rina! I kinda came with you. <laughs> What do you mean kind of came with me? What about the emotional farewell? My tears! All meaningless now! Wherever Vivi goes, I'm in. I mean, bring on the parallel. It's cool! I see. She really took it to the extreme to throw one's body into a crack in space-time. That works? Or is there a problem? Whether it's a problem or not depends on how you take this. One of the rules of traversing dimensional space-time is no bodies. Which is why you've been forcibly split away from your body and now exist as a cyber entity. Mm-hmm. A cyber entity? Well, then there's no problem I can see. 
Rina, I say this because you likely don't get it. Cyber entity means having an existence akin to that of a Digimon. A digital existence. What? Really? I'm a Digimon now? What about my cute bod? My pretty bod! Unfortunately, your body is safe. It remains back on your world. If you want to return, just let me know. I'll send you back. I see. Well, then that's perfect. But wait, why'd you just say unfortunately? Did I? I don't remember. It may have been... It may have been a little brain. It may have been one of the me uh, me's from a parallel world. Worlds where I did and didn't say, unfortunately. Worlds where I might have said and didn't say it. Infinitely branching worlds with infinite me's. Huh? Oh, uh, but really? You're Mire, right? If this is a parallel world, why are you... You broke her. Now we have two Nokias! Do I know these two, you ask? I do. Casual acquaintances, you could say, from another world. Anyway, the risks in moving across dimensional space-time are high and not to be taken lightly. You should stay as opposed to as po uh, composed as possible. I realize I'm talking to a brick wall, however. <laughs> yes, it is certainly impossible to ask Rina to be composed. She can stand still for about three seconds at absolute maximum. But I'm still really glad she's here. Neon, let's go stop that rampaging beast. When it comes to speed, I won't be beaten. We should be able to catch kentaro Saman now. Let's head to the Eden Free area again. So yeah, that has to be the hacker's memory world. What Terrariumon special move creates a small tornado with its ears? Terrier tornado. Duh. Do you know the game Red Light, Green Light? No, that's not even a proper quiz. But yeah, that's kind of funky. Alright, first things first. The frickin' memory that I'm never going to use. Oh, okay. And da da da. Hmm. And I forget. Ah, damn it! I forget what type of uh, Digimon. Wrong one. I want to go save. I forget what type of Digimon Kintarosmon was. We'll have to look and see when we get there. Vaccine. Virus. Based. Programming now. As it always said that. Hey, Kentarosmon, I'm here to kick your ass. Worthless human, you bothered coming back! That's enough! Now I'm here too! <laughs> so you're the helper. Very well, it only makes you more worthy of destruction. You, I've heard about you going on crazy rampage and stuff. What's up with that? You're asking why? It is my impulse. I simply want to break things. The overwhelming ill will of humanity in cyberspace has eaten away at me directly. It triggers my impulse. Break, destroy, shatter! There's something wrong with him, Rina. I want to break things. I want to break things. This impulse is all the human's fault. The nature of humans is to act as they desire. I understand. And so I must obey my impulse. And as in cyberspace, so too in the real world, foolish humans, your destruction is all I seek. What? You're saying it's our fault? If it's your destructive impulses, then you do something. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Even I know that, which means that you know less than me, okay? What did you just say? You don't understand the first thing about it, so a little beating and a, little, a lot of talking, okay? You obnoxious little brat. If you think you can stop me, go ahead and try. Baby, come on, go for it. Part two. Here I go. Hilarious. Ooh, I get speed up now. No, my intelligence. He's a uh, vaccine type, eh? Then War Growlmon. We'll be replaced by Pixiemon and. Hmm. Cyberdramon with Lilymon. Our team's gonna be weak as shit! Luckily, it forced him to do that again. And again. I think he's the one that had a mental breakdown. Celestial Arrow! Oh, fuck. Hit bomb.
Angelomon is now the healer of the group. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just Celestial Arrow him. It'll make him slower and slower until he dies. Get Flower Cannon, loser. Another Celestial Arrow, why not? I think he has a permanent. Healy. Aurora for everybody. Had a heal combo, because I hardly ever use heals. I am now going to become that boss to this guy. Basically, I'm going to become Rosemont. Continually get smashed. Another mental break field, which hardly does anything, my boy. And another Bifrost. Charlie does anything, my guy. I shall blast you with a Celestial Arrow because you have like two HP. I would do the ripping net, but it would probably do nothing. Oh, that's not good. Luckily, Anjuamon took the brunt. Aurora! It is a slow battle. But we'll get there eventually. Not here. He stole my move. He took my turn. Bastard. Aurora, because screw you. I am that one boss. Just blasting away at you. Another Odin's Breath, which won't do much. The most damage will go to... That's the real danger, the follow-up. Another Aurora, because I am here to annoy you to death. Another mental break field. Just another pit bomb to your face. Another flower cannon to your face. Shining laser three. Actually kind of scary. Another Aurora. Let's be safe. If he focused on damaging moves, he might wear me down. But luckily, he's not. Let's see. Eh, just a Celestial Arrow. Do a bit of chip damage. Oh no, he's gonna slow us down. He's gonna slow her down, okay. Another mental break field. You are a fool. Yay, a combo. It's been five million years. Get flowered, nerd. Hand him. Chip damage. Damn it. I'm just going to give myself an extra turn. Says this guy. Knock him out of the sky with a pit bomb. Will you die already? I want to see him get knocked down. Finally you come to help fight. I guess you were mostly keeping us in the fight, so... Not horrible. Yes. Victory is ours! We did it, Neon! How do you feel now? Cooler heads raining? Impossible. To be able to keep up with my speed. Uh, go on then, do it quickly. Finish me off. Is his mouth his chest? I think his mouth is his chest. Finish you? What do you mean? No one's finishing anyone. You 
Continue to show mercy. Listen, you've got it all wrong. Didn't I tell you? we got some long talking to do, so? Come travel with me for a little while. Vivi and I will be staying in this world for a little while longer. Go somewhere with a human? Me? What rubbish? Well, it seems like you've only seen the bad side of humans. You can't think we're all like that. So a little time with us will clear up your little misunderstanding. If it indeed it is a misunderstanding, that is. And if there's no good to be found here on this world, then come to ours. We'd welcome you. <laughs> You're thinking I'd go along with that plan? Yep. Hmm. All right. I'll go along for the sake of your optimism. And if should we find no common a good among humans, then... Okay, let's do some sightseeing. Where to begin? Anything good to eat? Hey, don't interrupt. That's rude. <laughs> We're leaving. Uh, wait, Barbarina. Okay, if you need our power, call us whenever. What the? So then Katarosmon isn't our ally? Well, whatever. I better get back to the agency. He's just being kept busy. By Rina. I went on an adventure. I see. Kentarosmon must have been confused. He's just running around and isn't causing any damage. Maybe he's trying to clear his head. But as for that Rina Shinomiya, no, I have no questions about her. <laughs> In any event, Old Force Vidramon has unparalleled fighting power. We must thank Mire Mika Mikagra. That's it. I'll deliver <laughs> develop a new blend for her. You'll poison her. Why are you looking so meh? Are you thinking she won't get my coffee? It's been a secret up until now, but she understands my creative energies, and in fact, she even helps me focus them. One of my four masterpieces was her idea, the Benito Broth and Balsamic Vinegar Blend. I had no idea. Mire Mikigra, a fearsome individual. Are we ready to fight the monster? Our Royal Knight allies are coming along well. But Leopardmon must be aware of our actions. Don't let your guard down. Oh, how rare. A call from Date. Hey, detective. One of those monsters has shown up in As Asakusa. We don't have the men to deal with this. Go and check it out for me. Thanks. Hmm. Was that supposed to be a case request? It's like I'm the town handyman around here. This makes it vague when it comes to the contract. It's a problem, but there's nothing to be done. A uh, monster. If an eater has appeared, then maybe conditions have changed. Okay, it's your turn. The location is Asakusa. Head over there ASAP. Four digi lines. Quiz time. Who's the head of the Kirme agency? Kyoko. <laughs> Vivi and me are on the scene. Hit, a, hit us up if we're if you're feeling keen. Oh, did did all that rhyme? Holy crap! Am I some kind of rap genius? No. Rena, you are not a genius at all. You are a good person, but not a genius. I'm gonna make sure there aren't any... Nope, nothing new. Just Asakusa. Which, I mean, would be a bit rude, because Date... Okay, good, the cat's there. Then again, there were... I don't know. Still weird. Because now that's basically just a Gatomon, but not... Asakusa. Eater or... Oh. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to sneak in. I know you're worried about Arata Sonata, but don't get careless, alright? This area is restricted to Defense Force personnel. Please return to your home. I just wanted to talk, but they don't want to talk. So, I shall stealth hide. Whee! Also, they, the Defense Force people don't care about the two Digimon that are here. We've already been through here before, so I shouldn't have to worry about the side areas too much. Now, this should be easy enough to annihilate. We'll just annihilate them and then rearrange our team. Now we shall rearrange the team. And I'll have this team together, just to be a little safe. 
because Piximon is no slouch. All right, but let's see what's in here. Date specifically called. So something bad must be going on. Something bad. And there's item boxes now. Hmm. Oh, hey! I'll try to annihilate you first. <laughs> Annihilation. Hmm, these are all base. Based on what? Running away. Where Garuruman? Coming in, kick ass. I shall annihilate your face for being a face. Never seen you before as a Digimon. Great. Poison is now in play. That better not be foreshadowing the boss. Because, dear lord, poison mid-fight and a boss fight that takes multiple turns? That would be a real nightmare. But interesting to see more new Digimon on the scene. Or at least Digimon that we haven't seen up until now. All right, the one that we're going to annihilate is the poison one. Be gone. You know poisons, therefore you must die! Annihilate them all. So yeah, this is the base area. Early on in the game, there's hardly any base Digimon. Then as time goes on, more and more base Digimon. Let me guess, it's another ring, uh, like, destroy the bell to get through the, yep. Another Leomon. We've been through this. Oh no. Kill? <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting. They're not bosses. I only really have to worry about like, I can kind of finagle my way through most random encounters, no matter the type of Digimon it is. But when it comes to bosses, you really need to play to type. Annihilate the poison. No poison for you. Get nuked from orbit. Nuked from orbit. And now we just need to go to the other side to open the way, get rid of the giant lantern. Oh no. The horrible bomb movie, Green Lantern's blocking the path. Okay. Hopefully this kills. It does. You were big, bulky, and scary looking. But you still failed. Oh, great. What are they called? Tory Gates? They're both beautiful, mysterious, and ominous as fuck. All right, I'm gonna keep my team as it is. Ah, not railroad tracks this time. Japanese stand by me. Ah, Sonata, what you doing here? I'm here to kill eaters. Neon, what are you here for? I've got business with this one. Don't interfere. I'm gonna be interfering. Bastard.
definitely need to fix that. Let's see. I have multi recoveries. Next up is War Growlmon. Do his damage before he does the dot. Data is converging. Oh, so dot only lasts one, uh, I guess, two turns. Or it seems to be random. Melt processor. Very rude. Pit bomb. Atomic Blaster! Get stomped on and blasted. And then I'll probably swap Piximon out for, I guess, Cyberdramon. Because I just feel like somebody else might do more damage. More damage for the boy. Observing. Observe my foot, bitch. And of course, Desolation Claw. Because you're ugly. Die, ugly. Ah, oh boy, texture field. Here we go. I'll just take it. It'll wear off soon enough. Data is converging. Get smacked by a tiny sprite. It's adorable and it's gonna kick your ass. Get kicked to face by foot. Atomic breaker. Kill him. Good job. See, you handled your business here. I totally didn't help. Still need to kick his ass, though, because, like, oh, I need power. What you gonna do to the eater? Stop right there! Watch from where you are. You're becoming the eater? That's not good. This is the sort of thing I'm capable of now. This is the power Suido gave me. I'll eat you. More and more, I'll eat you! Well, he's gone crazy. Who's that? Hugo? Oh, Gallantmon. I came because I felt a strange presence. I wasn't expecting this horrifying form I see now. You are no longer a person. And what of it? Being human wasn't enough, so I just went beyond humanity. I see. Then I must defeat you. I will at least try to be gentle. Don't interfere! Even if he was your friend, emotional involvement will add to the confusion. Your actions only hasten his fall into darkness. You should know that his death would be a mercy. Quit yammering and come for me if you're coming. I haven't tried a royal knight. I want a taste. Why are we fighting Gallant Mon? Okay, good, we fight him. Ooh! Kill him. Well, that's not nice. Let's see if it was a, a fluke. What bullshit? What manner of lunacy is this? Where is he getting this power from? 
It's incredible. Incredible. This is my power. As long as I have this. This power. We must stop him here. The chaos will only worsen. I understand. I understand it all. It's all so clear now. I'm not a match for you. Not yet. I'll have to eat more and more. And then we can meet again. <laughs> I'll see you around. Don't let him get away! We can't just let him do as he pleases! I knew something like this would happen. Neon, where are you? You go once to have a meeting. Come to Yat Nakano. Hey, Neon, look a little pale. Something happened? Anyway, meet us at the agency. You can tell me about it there. Arata has become a monster. Oh yeah, that was a chapter. That was quite a long chapter, if you ask me. LOL! Hmm, there are five royal knights left. Um, there's Examon, Leopardmon, Dinosmon, Tyrannimon, and Crusadermon. Eesh, even that name sounds tough. Omnimon, is it really true that none of the royal knights she mentioned will come over to our side? I'm afraid not. None will be our would be our allies. We are bound to fight them all. I see. Then it's totally down to us. But other than Examon storming around Odaiba, we don't know where they are. It's possible that Crusadermon might be in Odaiba as well. Really? How do you know? Could it be you've awakened your latent psychic potential, Yuko? When I traced Miss Rea's computer, I found that it was using an IP address in the Odaiba. I can't be certain that's it's Crusadermon's, but. No, it's fairly likely to be Crusadermon. The Royal Knights can't ignore Examon in his amok state. They're probably thinking of a way to use him. In which case, Examon is the Digimon with the highest level of battle power among the Royal Knights. We must halt Crusadermon's movements, no matter what it takes. Now is when we should seek the help of any Royal Knights we can persuade to be our allies. That's certainly true. I will seek their help. Leave them to me. We are totally decided then. Let's do this Odaiba thing, y'all! Um, excuse me, but do we have an actual strategy for this? Um, oh yeah, how about we go with the whatever feels right at the moment strategy? Of course, it's improvised on individual initiative plan. Excellent, Nokia, that's perfect! What? Seriously? Totally seriously? <laughs> Don't stop, tell me more! What a pair of idiots. <laughs> go with whatever plan you think will be for the best. I'll back you up from here at the agency. As a non-combatant, I would only hinder you otherwise. Okay, planning meeting over. Let's get to it! Yes? You wanted to say something first? Arada is a monster. He ate an eater. No way. I can't believe that could happen to Arada. Gallantmon is after him? Gallantmon taking up arms against humans after claiming he wanted to understand them? You must consider the possibility that some uh, rather frightening changes are happening to Arada. Crap, crap, crap! That jerk of a hunk! I'll call him GH for short! Let's beat him silly! Everybody gets one punch! That should fix it! Yeah, that ought to do it! Oh, and you too, Omnimon. Punch him with all your might. If you wish, I shall attack with all I have. But we should begin with a trip to Idaiba. Examon must be kept away from Crusadermon. Say, uh, Omnimon, next time, let's do this online, okay? Ah, understood. I wanted to meet in cafe, as Nokia had said, to better understand humans, but I apologize for asking the impossible. No, that's fine. That's what makes you totally adorbs. Nokia, you are truly a very forgiving person. Dee, <laughs> I guess so. I'm not just a pretty face. Diver City, Isle of Dragons. Diver City? I don't really know what's going on, but you better believe I'll protect Sakura. Return to the agency if you need info on the Royal Knights. We'll regroup there. Maybe I can take out some other royal knights before we go to Odaiba. Wait, Odaiba? Isn't that... Oh, fuck! I saw a metal gray mob when I was walking outside. It looked so cold and sad. Will you take a blanket to it? Banco Leomon won't stop bragging. My friend warned me. Someone please make Banco Leomon stop. My master is really sad and doesn't even eat. I want to make some good food, but I can't do it. Help! I'm a famous expert at making Digimon medicine. Call me Dr. Datamon. I need help with my research. Hmm, but do I want to do these? I kind of want to get on with the story. And none of these are red. 
Got the plan down. No kids already headed to uh, headed out. You go. You get to move on to Odaiba as well. I wonder where Pete is. But yeah, I'm not gonna do any more cases until the game's like, hey, do cases. Cause like I don't know, the cases have been odd. And it's like, eh. We're in the thick of the story, and I want to get story time on. You can go to Odaiba now. But I want to check something out in Shinjuku, because we can't go down the road road because of them. But what if I became invisible? And they didn't stop anybody else down here. That seems a bit weird. We're gonna have all the normal people still back here that you can sneak to. That just seems odd. Yeah, that's just an odd decision. We're gonna lock off this way where the clothing shop is. But let's go to Odaiba. Isn't this, like, relevant to... The, like, original Digimon anime didn't, like, some important stuff happen down in Odaiba there. Yeesh. It's like a war zone. Looks like you've arrived in Odaiba. I've been monitoring the state of the digital waves occurring in various areas, but the values around Odaiba have suddenly increased. As Suido said, they had technology to control eaters using digital waves. In other words, controlling the eaters that's preying on Examon might allow for the control of Examon himself. Allowing them to take control of such a vastly superior Digimon would be a terrible blow to our side. We must prevent this from happening, if at all possible. How about we just annihilate him? Man, oh man, things are getting crazy up in here. Come on, world, we can do it! We'll do our best in this world. Oh great, a war Gralmon. This ain't good. They've really amped up their levels. We still one-shot them, though. That's good. But will we one-shot you? You probably don't have 1,600 health. You're a fraud. You're a loser. Get out of here, you faker. You don't even have 500 health. Two experience from leveling up. Alright. They're just really amping up the Digimon that they're throwing at us. Luckily, they're all pretty weak still. Let's obliterate them all, one by one. I'll just annihilate you with Atomic Blaster. Not even gonna risk you staying alive. But yeah, seeing a Digimon that I know is like on the same level as me, it's terrifying. Ah, we get first attack, so we can just annihilate you. Easily. Kill. How dare you live. We'll annihilate you, then. Get desolationed. How dare you live. Are we just, like, slowly moving to... Is every step we take, the Digimon get, like, ten more health. First things first, I'm going to hand out some SP increases, because this is probably gonna be a fight. Actually, speaking of that, we should probably then... Uh, nobody else needs SP increases, good, good. I just wanted to, like, triple check. 
Well, onwards to war. It's the big man who's been eaten away. Whoa, that thing's totally huge! Isn't, isn't that against the rules? If that thing gets loose! Uh, Crusadermon. Crusadermon. Let's go. Is there an item this way? Kind of weird. Well, time for fights. Miss Rhea, <laughs> I would have thought the Eaters would have gotten you by now, yet you still cling to life. So that really is your true form, then. That reminds me, this is the first time I've shown you this form. Allow me to introduce myself, then. I am the Lord of the Nightmons, made from a deviant virus type among the Royal Knights. My name is Crusadermon. I shall snatch the shining rose of victory. This is indeed my true form. You're the one who controls the Eaters. You got into the Kamishiro, aided Suido with his work to get what you needed, continued your preparations. <laughs> you should be thanking me. My help revolutionized that research. Yet to think that controlling digital waves would produce this much power. This was a result even I did not expect. I'm shocked that Suido know that any human could come this close to the digital justice. You'd use that power to destroy innocent people? Why? How can you do such a thing? Innocent, preposterous. You shall all reap what you have sown. The Eden Network created by your father became the path and his children opened it. And then the Eden Nightmare began. The Eaters began eroding away our digital world. We already know this. I purged the sin of Eden's creator, Satoru Kamishiro. Other sins remain. Then it was you who killed my father after all. I'll never forgive you, never! <laughs> you humans are the ones who cannot be forgiven. How many times must I say it? Ixamon, you won't forgive them either, will you? These howling, noisome, squirming humans. Rejoice, the sins of humankind will be burned away by Ixamon, the Dragon Emperor! Do you think you can stop that from happening? It's the beginning of the end! Ashes to ashes, dust to dust! I thought that was gunshots. This is bad. We have to stop Examon. If we don't, the human world is done for. It'll, it'll well, totally work out, uh, right? Now more than ever, we must all work together. I hear the voice of my true friends. The greater our urge to protect this world, the stronger we become. Rina is also fond of this world, so I must not let it be destroyed. So all the Royal Knights we have will probably be taking on Examon. With this much power in one place, we can do it! We shall T-pose at you! Have you not seen the boy? He should have been and headed this way. I see. He was steadily accumulating more power while evading my pursuit. We'll have to get him next time. But first things first, we fight together to stop Examon. Let's go full bore. Will I control all the knights? That'd be cool. Oh, I get two knights as helpers. Well, I guess the other three are probably up there giving them trouble. Ah, base type. Beat him up. Oh, that's a lot of hell. Cyberdramon? Uh, maybe we should bring in Paladramon. Atomic Blaster. How am I doing more damage than the Royal Knights? Full Moon kick him in the face again. There's no way they're gonna want us to bring him all the way down to zero, would they? Punch him. Eh, maybe Paladramon should be 
swapped out for Pixiemon, maybe. Beldramon, make way for Pixiemon. Pit bombs shall rain from the sky. And Atomic Blaster. Major dent to your health. Pendragon's Glory. Luckily it hit a guy. That would have been over a thousand damage. We won't be able to use ordinary means after all. It's no good. It's not working. Hexamon's getting away. Hey, Rada, you want to eat him? Neon, I'll go after him. Otherwise, my master will be in for a beating. I'll go too. If we let him escape, Rena will have my head. I'll leave this to them for now. I must reca recuperate. Gallantmon, are you okay? Yes, I'll pull through. I see. I'm glad you're still fresh. Watch out, Gallantmon! You're too late. It can't! Am I gonna have to hack into Arada to bring Gallantmon back, or is he just gonna die? <laughs> now you'll see. Uh, so this is the power of the Royal Knights. Uh, what? Uh, it, it burns. I'm over. It's, my power is growing. It's overflowing. This is it. This is the power. This is what I was after. This. And then he just walks away. And we didn't try to stop him. What's going on? What? Tell me, what is this? Why is this happening? Because he's an insane man. Somebody say something! We let Chrysanemon slip away. We were unable to restrain Examon. And I lost my sworn friend, Gallantmon. The operation was a complete failure. Neon, let's go back to the agency regroup for now. Everyone is exhausted after finding Examon. We should have kicked his ass when we had the chance. When it was a human. The monster has suddenly appeared in Odaiba. It's currently flying over Tokyo, wreaking extensive havoc throughout the city. The government has issued a state of emergency, called in the armed forces, and urges extreme caution. Citizens are asked to remain calm and not take any rash actions that might. As I feared, Hexamon is a grievous th threat. I'm so sorry. It failed. It's pointless to regret the past. There was nothing else you could have done. Besides, all of it's not yet lost. After analyzing Examon's movements, I found that after a period of activity, he must then always get a, go into a resting state. A massive digital wave must be needed to maintain the, the incredible amount of data Examon has. You're saying Examon has terrible fuel efficiency? Something like that. And while he is the resting state, the digital wave fuels him externally via digital lines. If it's a digital line, then it must be under Crusadermon's control, right? I believe that. By continuing to supply the digital wave, she's controlling the partly bugged Examon in much the same way as the Eaters. If that's the case, cutting off the digital wave supply ought to weaken Examon and release him from Crusadermon's control. Way to go, Kyoko! What a swift and unprecedented recovery. Truly amazing. All I can offer in return is some tasty coffee. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant at all. Unfortunately, there's no time for that now. Let's continue the discussion. I traced back the flows of the digital waves. There's a place in Kowloon where the flows all overlap. I located this interchange. This is where the digital waves flow into the digital line. I'm guessing it's a control point. And Miss Ray, Rhea, I mean, Crusader Mon would be there? That's a distinct possibility. Then I'm going. Please, let me go. Hmm. It would be better to plan to wait for Omnimon and the others to recover from their battle with Examon while we gather intel in the meantime. But I can see that it won't stop you. I shouldn't doubt you. After all, you proved your skills quite well when you acted as Yugo. Moving forward, you will need great battle skills. 
But no one is expecting you to work alone. Neon will accompany you, alright? Excellent. The interchange is at the back of Kowloon Level 5. It's a key location for our enemy, and our foe is none other than Crusadermon. There will undoubtedly be traps you will need to keep on alert for. Exercise all due caution. Okay, Neon. Let's meet in Kowloon. I'm counting on you. Yuko, she's sure gotten into a tiff. She's not angry. She's eager. Now that she knows that Crusader Mon killed her father, it's a reasonable reaction from her. Still in her state, she could easily allow herself to slip up. Neon, keep a close eye on her for now. <laughs> Got it. I'll follow investigator closely. Just kidding. Hmm, there's more to it. Seems to be a misunderstanding. I think you need to relax, first and foremost. Huh. Should we maybe try that? Try what? My special herbal tea, featuring a blend of 13 herbs that will help you relax. I take some coffee with that tea in it, then add tofu, bananas, and strawberries, all of which have stress-reducing properties. I'm not feeling particularly stressed right now. I think I'll pass, okay? So, uh, see you later, Neon. You can do it. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Ah, perfect. I hope this works. <laughs> I think there's something I want to do. Live. Well, off we go to Kowloon level 5. For the first time. But the guy's still there. I think the game is mocking me. Alright, we'll go back and talk to Kyoko. The game said, go to level 5! And then I get there and it says, no! Well, you're sending mixed signals, game. I'll leave her to you. Don't let her get out of your sight. She already did. Go. Nope, not to eat an infant. Dumbo. To Kowloon level one, I guess. Mm hmm. Where are you? Game, you could just tell me where she is. What were you doing, Neon? I waited for a while at the meme place, but when you didn't show up, I went on to Kowloon level 5. Please come and join me here as soon as you can. Why did you go on ahead? Why am I always late? I really wanted to go with you. I beg you, please protect Yuko in my place. Leave it for me. Leave it to Beaver. Although a part of me wonders if I should try- Ah, uh, wait. I was like, maybe I should try in the Digivolve one of my Digimon. I was like, oh yeah. Unless it's Wear Gururumon that can become like Metal Wear Guru- Like Metal Gururumon. Let's see. Can anybody Digivolve? Into a form that isn't hideous. Uh, it needs ABI 80. Stupid. Fucking ABI, I hate it. Can I buy the ABI meat already? Can I just do that game? Why? 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 So stupid. Such a stupid mechanic, I hate it. Such a dumb mechanic that just makes it be like... It just makes it like the game stalls. That's basically it. It just stalls the game. So I guess I'm not going to digivolve anybody. Because there's no point to it. Because the game's a dick. Now, not stealth hide. 
game, if you're not gonna just let me click the prompt button, just have it be immediately on the proper thing. Yeah, just really wish that ABI just didn't exist, because it just blocks off too much of the game, if you ask me. D-Digivolving because you need to level up your character, like a Digimon, and then get them their stats to a certain point or their level to a certain point is already that enough. You don't need ABI. You're late. The interchange should be beyond this area, but there's a wall preventing us from going any further. There's no way other way around. If you don't go do something quickly, we'll lose our quarry again. If you want me to calm down, I'm worked up. Me? Yeah, my father was murdered, and now I'm about to finally get my revenge. Of course I'm worked up. What's wrong with that? You might make a mistake. You're just worried about me. I didn't ask for your concern. Please don't be worried on my account. You really are a happy-go-lucky person, aren't you? Surrounded by friends and always smiling like a fool. I'm grateful about how you saved me before. But please don't put on this weird act of pretending like we're friends now. I don't know what went on inside my heart, but as far as I know, you and I are not friends. Harsh? What was that? Anyone who could say that to me could probably be my friend? What kind of flowery logic is that? Are you expecting me to, wi to win me over with some sappy words? Yep. Huh? Good friend, you're so... I'm at a loss for words. Suido? Well, well, well. If it isn't acting President Gatmashiro. I hope you're doing well. Mr. Suido, surely there is no need for such caution. We all know each other here, no? You got Zarada to murder a friend. Oh my, Neon, are you upset? Might it be the situation with Arata that's troubling you? I heard about it from Neon. What did you do to Arata? I merely offered him a tiny bit of assistance in helping his wishes to come true. Consequently, it has also made my wishes come true. On the whole, it was a very good for our relationship. That's no answer. What the heck happened to him? Let's just say I assisted in his evolution. He wanted power. Great power at that. But even such power was available, there would be a limit as to how much his body could handle. Thus, I recommended assimilation with an eater. I accepted my recommendation, assimilated with an eater, and obtained great abilities because of it. The eaters prey on data to store information. Arata can now absorb data and increase his power. His body is slowly being altered so that he can bear it. It appears he's gained some enhancements due to the sudden increase in his powers, but it's not anything to worry about, so just relax. Yuko, the data from your assimilation with the eater was very helpful. Huh? I'm glad I monitored your status on the sly. When it happened to you, you were completely overtaken, and yet here you are. Have no concerns on that point. Adjustments were made, and conditions set to clearly prioritize Arata. What's this? Why are you so angry? And at what? He has undergone the evolution he wished for. You would deny him his wishes, as the real world does with its limits and possibilities? Mr. Suido. Were you aware of Miss Rea's true identity? And did you help her regardless? I noticed that her psyche was something other than human. But there was no way I had knowing that she was the Digimon known as Crusadermon. Moreover, her actions have caused me quite a bit of consternation myself. She is attempting to bring about not only the end of human race, but the world itself. This is quite out of line with my wishes. It's simple, reckless violence on her part. My vision is to see the evolution of our world, not its destruction. Therefore, I have a proposal for you two. Although our final goals may differ at present, our objectives should be aligned. Would you uh, therefore consider a partnership? A partnership with you? The program she is using to control digital waves is a program I originally wrote. Accordingly, it would be a trivial matter for me to render it harmless. However, I would be completely helpless should Crusader Mon attack me. So until our objective is met, I'd like to hire you as my bodyguards. What do you say? Neon, a partnership sounds like a good idea for now. At the very least, he can be reasoned with. At least more than we can reason with Miss Rhea, who might bring about the end of the world at any moment. 
And besides, we could just stab him in the back if we wanted to. My, my, thank you. Well then, let's get moving. The moment he renders it harmless, we should just crush him with our Digimon. Shall we proceed? Well, that's horrifying. That's the interchange. Such incredible density for digital wave behavior to be visible at such a level. If we make it that far, can we stop the flow? Yes, we just enter the shutout command directly. Doing that will block the digital wave flow and should help the supply to Examon as well. There are traps set up throughout the area. An interference field is jamming communication with the outside too. <laughs> How very thorough. That, then does that mean that Crusadermon is hiding somewhere in this area as well? I do seem to be detecting a large data mass. I don't know if it's Crusadermon, but it's certainly one of the entities known as the Royal Knights. Hmm, and we can get lore, it seems. Alright, let's see. Code scan. Give me your encrypted data. Looks like the log of a hacker who passed through long ago left a message for hackers to come. Hacker hint, darkness lies ahead. If you think you're a great hacker, then you know not to underestimate what looks like nothing at all. Eden is just a collection of data. It's easy to forget with the barrage of data sent to Avatar's five senses, but this is not the real world. A place you thought was a path can suddenly become something completely different. Darkness, it's what lies ahead. If you're a skilled enough hacker, you'd be able to encrypt this, you should be able to figure out what that really means. Darkness lies ahead. Ah, uh, if it isn't the long abandoned child, kill him. Kill the abandoned child. I shall annihilate you. How dare you survive? I said I would annihilate you. Why do they have so much health? Kill. Well, that's horrifying. Kill. Oh yeah, I forgot that other, like, equip thingy. The super guard or whatever. Equipment. Just look through, wipe everything. And the master guard. All attribute damage by 10%, so... Honestly, not that good. Interesting. Yeah, I'm certain these wicked traps could only have been set up by Crusadermon. Probably in order to buy time. They're underhanded as well as malicious. Miss Rhea's personality seems to be showing through. What are you laughing at? That's it. I'll call you Yuko the Black-Hearted. You jerk. Off to the Digiline. Are shops in your world the same as in mine? I want to go to an amusement park. I'll guide you along. Hmm. I'm going to... Wrong button. I'm going to assume that paths without the glowing is the way. But we'll have to figure out. Oh, great. It's the boy. Kill the boy.
annihilate him. See, that's why mine is better. Mine doesn't get annihilated that easily. Well, let's see if my theory is correct. Nope, there is no rhyme or reason. Which is kind of stupid. Oh, there's an item in there. Fuck. Well, that's extra rude. Just have it be a treasure chest like a normal person. No, we have to put the random thing in the random place. Kill the egg. How dare the egg live. I'll finish off the egg. I shall annihilate the stronger one. Die. Punch the boy. Punch him to death in an alleyway. Call him names. Oi! Fuck off! Do not like that. Let me actually fucking move, game. I don't like RPGs that are like, heedly ho. There's like no rhyme or reason. This is a poorly done puzzle. Make sure there's no items. Oh, hey, I can't zoom out. Poorly designed. You could at least make the encounter interesting. Because now I'm just done with this kind of encounter. But yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to where the darkness spawns. Which is dumb. By adhering to pa patterns, this way should be the right way, but they'll know that I'm onto them, so it's gonna be this way. This is just boring. Oh, but it's meant to- No, fuck off, and, re and universe reasonings do not justify. Especially because we keep getting boring attack thingies. Go away. This is boring. It is boring. Higgledy Blig. Once again, it's like, there doesn't seem to be a pattern. To pro like, maybe they're like, oh, it is a pattern, so therefore, hibbity bibbity, but I don't buy it. I do not buy it being a pattern, is the actual thing. I'm just going to assume that it's poor design because there's no indication in one way or another of which way is what. It just feels bleg. And now we will destroy your face. Luckily, it's just one, so it'll go very fast. Die. I got an achievement, Battle Expert. It's probably like being a thousand battles. Or something like that. Or maybe, like, be in X number of battles in under X amount of time. Uh, I don't know. Pabumon? I don't know their names, and I'm not gonna look them up in the dictionary. Oh, fuck you. Like, genuine fuck you. This isn't fun. Oh boy, boring. My favorite. That's what I want in game, boring. And it's a double boring because they give a ch 
choice. Oh, never mind. This one was justified because it gives me the other. So not as terrible, but still, just not a big fan of the Bibbidi Boss. Not a big fan. I shall annihilate you just because. But yeah, the whole, ooh, you get sucked into darkness, and it's just like, a real hacker will know. No, I won't, because there's no indication. There's literally no indication anywhere. Or at least none that seems to have been, like, given to the player. Because if we look back there, there doesn't seem to be, like, any kind of... I was wondering why there was an indent. Annoyance! And because annoyance... Because this isn't really good design, if you ask me. Like, I get the concept, but it's bothersome. And I don't like bothersome. And if you could be like, er, oh, it's because it's in universe, what would happen is just like, bleh. Also, in universe, we would have beaten up Arata five ages ago. But that didn't happen, so we can't just say, it's because it's what makes sense. Things don't make sense, it's a digital world. Alright, this one is right, the other one is also right. Alright, take me to your magical world, Barbie. To the magical world. Also doesn't help that there's a lot of stopping and starting. Oh. I thought that would actually take me somewhere interesting. It's not like I can go back from there. This is bad design. Oh hey, it's the fight that I don't care about. Because it's boring. Boring. Already as a turn-based RPG, there's already a lot of repetition. And I think that's the main thing. If this was an action game like Bayonetta, and you're thrown back really quickly, uh, but you're able to go through really quickly, and it maybe even, like, respawns enemies so that you can quickly take out, that would be interesting, because there's shit to do. This is a turn-based RPG, so there's already just a ton of freaking repetition. So when you make some, when you make a rep, a, an inherently repetitive game, more repetitive, it just is very bad. I'm just gonna come out and say it's just really bad design to make a repetitive game more repetitive. Just had to step away to turn on the light, but I do believe. That should be everything for this area. And I just, I do not agree with the use of these silly little things. Code scan. What not hints are you gonna give me now? Nothing ventured, no. Either Kyoko or Kyoko's father. If you think you're a great hacker, then you won't hesitate to go anywhere, even places you thought were dangerous. We're hackers, aren't we? An off-limits path or a secret door, those restrictions don't apply to us. No one can tell a hacker what to do. Even whether to go on ahead or turn back, that's something you should decide for yourself. But don't forget, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Immediately. 
know that that's Kyoko's father. Well, nothing was ganged there. But yeah, again, making the inherently repetitive game more repetitive, bad design. Maybe from all these... Maybe this is the part of the game where you're supposed to grind up all these ultimates and feed the ultimates into a... Like, I don't know. Like, there has to be some kind of power leveling you can do. But I don't wanna. Hmm. I wonder if the... Nothing ventured, nothing ganged was for the... No, I don't know. I don't have no idea what it actually... Basically, that's not even a gameplay hint. It's just to be like, heedily he. Kyoko's father was a hacker. Or maybe Kyoko herself. Well, time to fight Crusader Mon, I guess, maybe. We, we finally made it. That's the interchange. I've been waiting for a human child. Who? Why do you look familiar and yet also absolutely horrifying and cool? It is as Crusadermon predicted, thanks to being among you humans for so long. I am Craniamon. I am sworn fealty to King Drasil. You shall not pass. Where is Miss Rhea? Where is Crusadermon? I need not respond. You are all to perish here. If, if I may, there's something I'd like to ask. Do you mind? M Mr. Suedo? Suedo, the human who assisted Crusadermon. The one who failed to catch on as he betrayed his own kind. How pitiful. <laughs> the facts are a little different than that. Well, we can quibble over trivialities later. What I mean to ask Kranyamon is... Do you share Crusadermon's desire to see your physical world destroyed? King Drasil's will is the destruction of the human world. I do not intend to reap the lives of other organisms. I see. I see, I see. Well then, might I request your assistance? What? Do you mean? I would like to prompt humanity's evolution of all of our species from our pitiful, wretched existence into a form that can appreciate the utterly beautiful world that will soon be. Once that occurs, mankind can then live side by side with you, Digimon, without any issue, I should think. What do you think? It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to aid in the evolution of a species. There's no grander chance for an intelligent life form than this. You'd surely like to help, yes? I cannot comprehend this. You speak nonsense. I have no answer for you. No matter what you request, to help you would be to help the humans. That would be the same as betraying King Drasil's orders. You ask the impossible of me. What's this? Blind obedience. How foolish. How dare you! You would mock my fealty! You have given up all thought and lack your own sense of will, and that is beyond deplorable. You would halt the gears of a turning world? Curse you. You go too far! It is a pride and honor to owe fealty to King Drasil. Mocking that is unforgivable! With my clamor, Solace, I shall crush you and your nonsensical words. My, my, I see I've angered you. I apologize. Well then, I'll leave the rest up to you two. What? I'm particularly ill-suited to rough housing. Oh dear, is he coming? Sudo is a god, a gadfly. Not the Grand Rock. Lol, you fail. Oh, that's not good at all. Where Gururumon? Change. To Lilimon. War Graumon. To Anjumumon. I just, uh, decide, uh... Yeah, I think Anjumumon would do. Because then she can heal.
Get hit in the face, boy -o. Uh, he also has an awesome quake, but he doesn't flex. Flower cannon. Ooh, will o wisp slash. Ah, uh, too bad he's the wrong. Dibbity d. Aura. Just in case. Pit bomb. Yay! Attack him. He doesn't matter. I don't think he can die. That would be an interesting experiment. Can guest party members die in Cyber Sleuth? I doubt it. But still. Combo time! But yeah, I've also kind of fallen into a complacent gaming syndrome here, where it's basically find the uh, better way to fight them, the proper bibbidi ba ability, and then just uh, keep attacking. Sometimes using items or heal. And I'll... Yeah, I'll Celestial Arrow you. Chip damage. Flower Cannon. Pit Bomb. The little fairy shall blow you away. Get crit, kid. Oh boy, another Grand Rock. Oh fuck, he's gonna kill... He's probably gonna kill Anjuamon. He killed Anjuamon. Bastard. Helpless, huh? In this opportunity, I'll just revive Anjuamon. Because I have 5 billion revival capsules. And Pit Bomb. Celestial Arrow, because why not? Another memory up. I am not going to Digivolve any of my Digimon. Because I don't know when the game is going to go into the final moments. To think I could lose and to be beaten so soundly. My heart was rife with confusion and doubt. I feared that these feelings, mere slivers though they were, could not be misgivings about King Drasil or Leopardmon and his companions. But indeed they were. That was my true weakness. You should have said something about it earlier. That is something to take joy in, Kraniamon. Possessing weakness and harboring doubt show that you do have your own free will more clearly than anything else. That is an unmistakable change. I can positively affirm that. <laughs> what a hateful yet strangely delightful existence you humans have. You are beyond my comprehension. Oh my, he disappeared. How sad. And how futile. Your words are brazen. You planned for it to go this way, didn't you? I won't dispute it. The facts are the facts. Regardless, sad necessities are still sad. Bye-bye, Deida Flow. Well, we've cut off the supply. Examon should begin to lose power. Mr. Suido. Were you also involved in my father's death? If so, then I have to. Your father's death was a tragedy. Your father's vision for Eden was truly wonderful. He was one of the very few men I've ever held real respect for. I still regret that I was unable to halt Crusadermon's rampage. I also know the pain of losing a family member. Crusadermon said that Eden was my, the Eden my father built is what brought ruin to the digital world. She said that my father and his children were guilty of sin and that we shall reap what we have sown in the form of humanity's destruction. Is that really true? You must know the truth of what happened. Please desist. It is enough that only Arata should recover his sad memories. 
And yet, if my vision is ever to be realized, all humans will be freed from sadness. Myself, you, those you hold dear, and Arata as well, of course. I must drive out grief from this world. All grief, all causes of grief, and all possibilities for grief, gone for good. Humanity and the world itself will evolve, guided by my own hands. Th that's crazy. It must be insane. There's no way that's possible. You're right. It's not possible now. This is also a sad fact. Until we meet again, as I'm sure we will. That smile he just has on his face. The end of grief. The evolution of humanity. Those things simply aren't possible. He's nothing but a bratty child. Yet he seems like he was murmuring pipe dreams. Or like he was insane. I can't understand him. I see. Nice work. You might have stopped the digital war uh, wave supply to Examon, but given his sheer data volume, we're not liable to see a big effect right away. For now, we'll have to wait and see. I must be going then. Goodbye. Oh, and Neon? I'm sorry for the nasty things I said earlier. I was stuck thinking about Miss Rhea. I wasn't in the right headspace. You know, when we met, when I said all that... What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Then, never mind. I just said never mind. Just forget it. You're something else. I just had to forget it, didn't I? Then I'll make you forget it. Which you prefer, hacking or a crowbar? <laughs> How would that even affect the digital cyber body? So you've forgotten then? All right then, no problem. I must be going then. Goodbye once more. Hmm, seems as if you go Kamishiro has changed somehow. Something happened. Oh, you summoned her Yuko the black-hearted version. Perhaps it's her doppelganger or something. No, if that was the case, she couldn't talk to us. Doppelgangers can't open their mouths. Then my next guess will be by location. She created another copy of herself through force of will. But why? And to what end? Hmm, fascinating. Or it might also be expression of her persona. Everyone knows that she grew up wearing several different masks. The daughter of a CEO, the leader of a hacked team, the unhappy girl growing up alone. It wouldn't be much of a stretch for her to use those abilities to serve her in the real world. Hmm, this has gotten interesting. This is how a mystery case should be. Rife with riddles. Hee <laughs> hee. Everyone's insane but me. It's not going to affect Hixamon while take on some cases. Ego searching isn't really my thing, but apparently now there's a Nakano bulletin board. Go take, uh, there's another bulletin board. The bulletin board is packed with people's grievances. I hear strange groans during the night. I saw a monster shadow inside Nakano Broadway. Bizarre things are happening more and more. What's going to happen to us? The detective agency's got to be behind this. I'll just pretend I didn't read that last part. Uh, hey, we've got another case to tackle. Hope you're ready for another day of heart. Hold on, what's this about the bulletin board? <laughs> hmm. Some people are saying this place is taking a turn for the even weirder, all right. Sounds like the residents have a lot of pent-up frustration that they are letting out now. We definitely aren't lacking in people we, uh, who've got it out for us. Once you're a, in a bad apple in their eyes, you're always one, even if you're innocent. Let's see what we can do to clear our good name. What do you say? See, I'm just going to do things, I suppose. Take a look. One new case has been added. Nakano's Legendary Busters. This case is from Broadway Management. There's some strange rumors in Broadway. Solve them with these guys. Again, like, poor cold Digimon, constant bragging, not enough food. Dr. Datamon's development medicine. I don't care. Although I guess the only one I do care about is the Nakano Legendary. We'll go ahead and do. You know, I ha we haven't heard from the occult gr school group in a long time, which I think is these guys. I thought that name sounded familiar. Hey there, May. You're early today. Of course, when we heard you had something intriguing to share with the club, how could we not rush on over? May, calm down. You sound a little overeager. Sorry, detective. She's just a little worked up. That's May for you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I see it's all the same gang from a Shibuya Hisaka experiment earlier as well. Hehe, <laughs> color me surprised to see you all still part of the occult club. Takes guts to stay around after what happened in Shibuya. <laughs> that's all of 
on May. After that experiment, she really started devoting herself to running the club. She's practically on fire. Yep, I owe it to you all now that I know there are really are strange mysteries like that lurking around the world. Just don't say I didn't warn you if you get caught up in something serious one of these days. Oh, I'm doing this research precisely to prevent that from ever happening. You have to know what you're up against to survive. Everyone knows that. Anyway, I'm sorry to call you all out here when you're so busy as it is. No, it's perfectly fine, I promise. When we hear the occult is afoot somewhere, we can't help but come running as fast as we can. That's our job as the Inodin Occult Research Club. <laughs> well, I appreciate your vigor. Still, that being said, Tio Tokyo has more than its fair share of occult phenomena going on these days. So why bother coming over to our neck of the woods? Uh, well, when you put it like that... Isn't it obvious? Nakano is leagues apart from anything else you could call an occult mecca around here. Exactly! I couldn't have put it better myself, Kinji. That's just what I'd hoped for out of the Vice President. <laughs> oh my. Eesh, Kenji. You're not exactly doing us any favors getting her all hyped up even more, you know. Well, what I said is still true. All sorts of weird, unusual things go down here in Nakano. I mean, there's the bleeding mural that's said to have blood gushing out of the mouths and eyes in the lobby of the first floor lobby, for starters. Then there's the skeleton pool, home to a pile of abandoned corpses that turn into bones overnight. Rumors also has it that late night there are people clad in white flying over the roof while holding a hidden sabbat. And then you've also got the mysterious fish rains that have poured down over Nakano for ages, foretelling imminent misfortune. And all those things remain unsolved, so naturally. Funny you should mention those specifically, because I actually solved them all already. What? You did? You already solved them? What's this already talk? This is my home base, and as a detective, if you tell uh, me something weird is up, of course I'm going to look around. That's all along in the past. Aww. <laughs> Why the wrong face? I didn't say the case wouldn't be up your alley. As for your reward this time around, how about I give you guys my file with all the so-called supernatural cases I've worked on? Oh, then of course we'll do it. Tell us more! That's the spirit. I fully intend to make use of your club's unique expertise for today's case. As we've already discussed, Tokyo's become a real hotbed for the supernatural, and it goes without saying that Nakano is no exception. The reports and complaints I've been getting from other tenants don't look to be letting up anytime soon, and so they've asked me to solve some. But even with my assistant on board, there are just so too many for us to handle by ourselves. There are essentially four different odd phenomena going on around here that I want you guys to solve with your passion and young sensibility. Four oddities. Okay, go on. First, I want to figure out what's behind Three-Legged Matthew, who wanders around these parts in search of something. Then I want you to look into the Katakata, who roams the floors of Nakano Broadway. After that, go looking for the Reaper Elevator, who, which ascends from the basement to the fourth floor at 2 a.m. And last, but certainly not least, what you can find about Master Tip Tap, a spirit. Ooh, these all sound great! This is going to be lots of fun to work on! I've given these legends their names based on my witness accounts I've heard. Now it's on you guys to solve Nakano's urban legends, alright? What do you say? Will you go for it? Okay, this is so exciting. I can't wait to get started, everybody. We're heading to the K Cafe to formulate our plan on the double. May, wait up! Those two can't, sure can't contain themselves. Well, we better indulge them and head on over. Not like we have much of a choice. Don't think you get to take it easy now. You're joining up with them, too. Uh, this might be a bit awkward to ask, but I notice your assistant kind of just zones out sometimes. Is everything all right? It's nothing too severe right now, but I can tell things are starting to get unstable with Neon's body. Control over data is slipping. Really, Neon seems to have even forgotten what's happened there. Well, now? Well, now that we're well into the night, our time has finally come to spring into action. Since we're here, might as well start on the first floor. We're going through every floor and checking whether these strange things are actually taking place, right? Right, since the reports of three legged Matthew seem to occur around this floor, we'll start with that for now and go from there. Heh, <laughs> alright, let's get to work. <laughs> Have you seen anything? I figured out a little of three legged Matthew's backstory, so get this. Thirty years ago, there was this popular Anita doll whose clothes you could swap out. Matthew was another doll who was her ex-boyfriend. Originally, he was described as being her fiancé, but another male doll that showed up later, Lance, a diplomat, became popular. At some point, Lance and Anita got hitched, and Matthew was relegated to the ex-boyfriend position. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. It's just a bad direction <laughs> to head this hour. Lol. 
turns out there's an epilogue of sorts to Matthew's story. After he lost Anita to Lance, Matthew went insane and attacked Lance, chopping his body up and sending the pieces to Anita. But things didn't go entirely according to plan when he tried to send the final piece to her, a single leg. Because as it turned out, Anita was putting Lance's body back together using forbidden dark magic. With what Matthew did in response was attach that final leg to his own body, ostensibly in an effort to ensure Lance could never be revived. Ever since, he's apparently been walking around with much difficulty on his three legs, roaming about here and there, forever searching for memories of the good old days he and Anita once had. What? So this is all about a doll? Pop quiz. What is, oh, hey, it's the abomination. Yep, now we need to go here. <laughs> you know, I think Manaka and Kinshi make for a cute pair, don't you? Oh, but don't tell them I said that, okay? Nakano Broadway at night feels real creepy. I mean, during the day, there are some floors I don't like visiting, but this is something else. Three-legged Matthew, where are you? Nothing really out of the ordinary here. All right, then on to the second floor. Now to turn our attention to Katakata. Kata. Well, time's a wasting. Off we go, hee <laughs> hee. The name Teka Teke supposedly comes from the sound she makes and she moves of her arms. So where does Kata Kata come from? From what I can tell, Kata Kata is derived from the famous Teka Teke legend. Teka Teke is an apparition who lost her feet in a train accident. She can travel up to 150 kilometers per hour with just her arms, laughing as she pursues people. Kata Kata is therefore an altered form that Teka Teke came to adopt after many years. <coughs> Wrong thing. I don't think anybody up against a spirit that could go 150 kilometers per hour would have any hope of escaping. If you bump into it, it's game over. <laughs> Manaka's such a fraidy cat, but she still loves it when Kinji talks about occult stories all passionately and stuff. Ah, nothing to report here either. Yep, let's make our way up to the third floor. Well, what'll we run up and, uh, what'll we run into up here, I wonder? Only one way to find out. Let's split up and get to work, everybody. <laughs> uh, you seem totally bored, Lily. You're just spouting weird stuff now. Hey, Manaka. How are things going with you and Kinji? How far have you two progressed? Tell me, tell me. What better time is there to talk about love than in the middle of the night? She's insane. If you happen to meet Katakata, Kata, she'll ask, need your legs? And if you don't give her the right response, she'll run off of yours. What's the right response? It's, I'm using them right now. She's surprised and cooperative, it turns out. Oh, hey, I think I figured out why she's called Katakata. Kata. Katakata Kata originally lost her legs after falling onto train tracks in Hokkaido. So maybe her name comes from the sound teeth make when chattering. I don't get it. But why isn't there anything special happening tonight? We've got one more floor to go. Surely there's something to find up on the fourth floor. Come on, let's head up the elevator. Are we going to fall? All right, come to us, O Reaper Elevator. Make thyself known before us. It's past 2 a.m. now. Why? Why isn't anything showing up? It's called out to it and everything, but there's no sign of it appearing at all. This sucks. I hate it. I just want to see the Grim Reaper at least once in my lifetime. Is that too much to ask? May, it's okay. There's still hope. Just keep it together. Wow, I never took her to be the type to throw a tantrum when things go poorly. May, we're getting worried about you. Why don't we take a little break at K-Cafe? When we meet, met up earlier yesterday in the afternoon, the owner said it was fine to use it as a break room. It shouldn't be locked. She's not going to listen to reason. I'm in favor of it. I'm beat. I could use the rest of after all that investigating. We can't. There's still coats and coats to check. We have to check everything again, top to bottom. There has to be something here. I just know it. All right, we get it. Let's just go inside K-Cafe for a bit so we can reassess the situation. Sound good to you? There's nothing here. No ghosts, no spirits, nothing. Nothing. Oh, cheer up. Since when does the good stuff ever happen on the first day when you do this sort of work? Well, I just want to see Matthew, Kata Kata, the Reaper Elevator, and Master Tip Tap. It's okay, May. Really, I'm sure something will come along soon. Really? You sure? Eh. Hmm? What's wrong? Don't you guys hear it? You're right. Is that the elevator? Maybe it's Kyoko? 
but she's not the only resident here. Who could it be? Wait, maybe it's a cop. That's who sounds just now. Did the elevator just arrive on this floor? It must have. It's the Reaper elevator. It came. I knew it was real all along. Tip. Tap. Oh my god, that sound. Is that Master Tip Tap? And then the katakata. But now it's a different sound. Don't tell me it's... <laughs> oh yeah! Iga! Wait, was that somebody's voice? Wha what's going on? What are you kids doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why are you out here out so late? Late, Missy, it's morning already. I always come in here to relax around this time. Huh? But it's not even four yet. Well, actually, it makes sense. My grandpa tends to get up really early, too. Oh, I get it now. That's why the K Cafe owner had this place unlocked. So this guy can use it. Hey, Neon, what's wrong? Uh, wait, am I seeing what I think I am? Is that a third leg? Huh? What are you blabbering about now? Those dentures, are they making that chattering noise because they're misaligned? You also come from the elevator, which would make you the Reaper? Who are you calling a Reaper? Then the tapping sound must come from... No, you mean to tell me this old guy is the one behind all the local urban legends here? You have to be. You have to be kidding. Oh. May's mournful cries could be heard all throughout the building that night, making their own urban legends. So it looks like you guys came through and solved all the mysteries. I couldn't have asked for a better end result than what you found out. What's so good about it? It was all just because that old guy takes early morning walks. Perhaps, but as they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Get real here. Who could have ever seen any of this coming? I mean, the moment I heard guy with third leg, I thought it's like, oh, you mean a guy with a cane? Because that's the old riddle. Like, uh... Like, what? When it... Like... I forget the way of the riddle, but it's just like, ah, oh, what begins on four, then two, then three legs or limbs? Let me ask you something. While you were out running around solving mysteries, what were you picturing inside your head? Did you see things in pitch dark? Did you hear things in deafening silence? Personally, in my opinion, I'd say such strong human imaginations are key to engaging in supernatural research. Hmm, I feel like I kind of get it, but don't at the same time. Those are just my own thoughts on the matter. Don't read too deeply into them. Hopefully, having reached the conclusion that you guys have, it's given you some things to think about individually. Now, as promised, I believe I have my files on hand as you re a reward. Those won't be necessary. We'll solve those other mysteries ourselves through our own efforts. Our own efforts and our boundless passion and imagination. Oh, that's a fantastic attitude to have. Wow, Kenji, that's actually kind of cool for you to say. Perhaps I was out of line then. If you insist that much, then I won't worry about... Oh, no, we'll gladly still take them off your hands, Detective. What are you saying, May? Haven't you been paying attention to what's going on? So, do you mean to tell me you're not even a re little interested in what's inside those files, really, Minaka? Oh, uh, well, maybe just a little. If you aren't, I'll just go ahead and read them by myself. Hey, that's no fair. Man, and here I was thinking I was acting cool for once, too. Ah, uh, Kenji, you did great. Don't let this get you down. Just try harder next time. <laughs> well, I'm going to take off now. Get you two later. Looks like it's just the two of us again, Neon. <laughs> I didn't expect them to run off with only one of my files. Either way, you can now report back to the other tenants that those issues have been taken care of. Hopefully that'll improve our standing a little. Those occult club kids or something, though. They're growing up so fast. Maybe one of these days they'll start to be friendly rivals of yours. That'd be fun, right? Wow. Are you going to look at the tube thing? What makes me drag my old bones out here every morning, I wonder? This place feels real nostalgic to me for some reason. But I can't pinpoint the reason why. What the? Miko. Is, is that going to... What? The super idol is going to get a wrap-up? It's always interesting how mysteries often lead and tie into one another, but I digress. Great work as always. Get ready for another case soon. Nothing new. It's not going to affect someone for a while. Be protective. Take some cases. I haven't seen Pete in a while. I doubt he's left Nakano Broadway, but something's been troubling him. Go find him. Yeah, because I don't really feel like doing cases because bleh. I just want to do the story. 
I just want to do the story. You mean I have to actually look all over and not go Broadway? Look around for any signs of anything. Look around for any signs of anything. Oh, hey, Pete. Oh, it's you, huh? Do you do you know what I am? Because I don't. I don't feel anything at all. Not a thing. The hell, Pete? Pete's become a ghost. What happened? What? Pete disappeared in front of you. Um, just come back here for now. A new case just came in that's cause for concern. It could be related to what you just witnessed. I guess I also haven't been doing the gotcha for medals, so that could also explain why I don't have that many medals. One new case has been added. I've been looking for so long. My Miko, my poor cat. Please find Miko. A five? Was that a five star? This case comes from the old man Misushima. You might remember him as the one behind those urban legends you recently investigated with the occult club members. It well and truly is a small world out there, even when it feels bigger than ever in some ways. Anyway, he's tasked us with tracking down his cat. Frankly, during times like this, there's something to be said for a down-to-earth gig like this one. Misushima said he'd be waiting for you at K-Cafe, although he didn't actually state when. It wouldn't hurt to go on ahead and check things out at the cafe, so go do that. But yeah, I think we'll do this case, and then we'll call it a night. Man, it's like... I. When will it end? It just seems like it keeps building and building and never ending. That doesn't seem good. It feels like it stopped. I wonder if it was an earthquake. Welcome, grab a drink, have a seat, and stay as long as you like. An earthquake? No, I didn't feel anything of the sort. So old man Mizushima is not in right now. All right. You originally met him there early in the morning, right? Might as well come back around the same time and see if he shows up. But what if he got eaten? I shall be the elevator reaper now. Oh, it's you again. I've been waiting, you know. You stopped by yesterday afternoon but couldn't find me. You must have just had a bad timing, kid. I've been waiting here forever for you. Well, it's done is done. Let's just let bygones be bygones and start searching now. My Miko, you see, he's inside this wall here. What? Are you at KKFA right now? I'm picking up readings of a really strong digital wave vibrations from the fourth floor. It's really st huge current coursing through there. My money's on that old time capsule being the cause of them. What's that? An earthquake? No, I can confirm it's definitely not. There's no movement here on the first floor. You're just sensing the intense digital web. It's... I don't wanna... It's better not knowing. Things are just as they are now. It's better if they don't change. Please stop. Don't wake me up from this. It's Miko! No, I'm Pete! Whatever you are, Miko, just come back to me! No, I can't. There's too much to ask of me. I'm not... Neon, please, leave me alone. Let things stay just the way they are. I'm sorry, Miko. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, did I finally get through to you again? The vibrations have stopped for now, but the digital waves are still as intense as ever. There's something big brewing in there. As I suspected earlier, there's coming from that old vacuum tube computer inside the wall. The digital waves are just gushing out from the old internet lines that computers hooked up to. So much so, in fact, that they're forming a cybernetic lie line, a digital line of sorts. If this thing persists, it's only a matter of time before its effects are felt in the real world. Neon, I need you to go inside that vacuum tube computer and do what you can to stop it. I'm counting on you. I'm gonna have to kill Pete, am, aren't I? I'm sorry. What did you do? Uh... I'm gonna say that, because I don't know. I don't know geography. I barely know American geography. Please let me be. Don't wake me up from this dream. 
going on with Pete? Only one way to find out. Guess I should probably also rearrange my team. Ah, great. It's gonna be a confusing one. HP spray A. Right, these big doofuses. Picked bum. Let's see if we can annihilate the bear. The bear has lived. Kill him. If that is a possibility, then we should probably have uh, two bases in there. So yeah, I wonder what the guy means by Pete being his cat. Wish I could see further down to know if this is a waste of my time. Oh hey, Gatomons! We can make a black Gatomon if we so desire. Kick it in the face! Ah, poison. I didn't know that could even happen because the game is mean! Oh great, I just had another one of those not deja vus where you feel like you've been in a situation before to the point of near hyper specificity but you know it was impossible. That happens a lot of the time. Just an overwhelming sense of familiarity with the situation despite never having played that game before. Or just the hyper-specificity of, like, I'm playing this game while a conversation of a specific type happens in Discord while I'm watching a specific video. Just things that cannot be. Annihilate the bear. Kill the bear. Kill the bear. Level ups for everybody. So that they can mostly probably be meat shields. For when I need to revive people or something. This one has an item. I'm going to assume the other one doesn't. Friendship 2. Oh, that is a dead end over there, back there. So let's see. Uh, do you hold item for me? Are you a friend? You don't hold. Wait, that's the exit. We go. We must find Pete. Help him. Why? Why do you have to know who I really am? Because you are a friend, Pete. No response. Let's find Pete. Why does this not show up? I guess... There's like so many portals. Kill! Kill, kill! Kill them all! Annihilate them to the end! Let's 
Let me get to the portal. You jerk. Didn't even do anything. Get out of here. Do a funky backflip back into hell. Well, at least we can get an item. Yeah, because at this point, I'm just like, I highly doubt any of the uh, these items are going to be relevant to me. I just want to go do the thing. Your annihilation will be harsh. Kill, kill. Annihilate it. Sixty-nine. Nice. I just want to see. Max level. Kind of. Just want to make sure they're all pretty far away. Seems like the closest is eighty, which isn't terrible. Long walk of doom. Annihilate the angel. Annihilate the dog. But the real question is, what the hell is up with Pete? What would he even begin to make him act like this? What is it that he doesn't want to be seen as? Or doesn't want to remember. How is he this old guy's cat? That apparently the old guy has constantly come up day after day, early morning walk to the tube. Nakano Broadway Construction Part 1. Construction plans from Nakano Broadway, hereby abbreviated as NB, were announced in 1959, ultimately taking seven years to complete. The reason for the lengthy dur uh, duration was due to the major issues that routinely manifested throughout the process. During land leveling, underground water leaked, resulting in an immediate halt to any and all work within the area. A large lake formed the site was left alone for a long time. Mysteriously, large fish appeared in mass, attracting fishermen. Regar records also indicate people bathed there in large numbers and that a child at one point drowned in the lake. Today, something terrible happened. A strange Digimon appeared in the middle of my bed. It was so cold in there. Even when I tried calling out for help, nobody came for me. But these two detectives eventually showed up. Kyoko and... Neon. Neon asked me who I was, but... but I said I didn't know. So Kyoko gave me a name. She decided to call me Pete because I'm some sort of time capsule. Yep, Pete, that's me. It made me so happy to have one. Names really are special things to have. Woke up in bed. That's the thing that caught me off guard. It's like the way it was worded made it seem like they were human. But no. Because we just found them. Not really in bed. I think we're supposed to go through this a different way. Well, their fault for not balancing things correctly. Not no Broadway Construction Part 2. No blueprints exist for NB. 1961 saw the Japanese government commence its income doubling plan in order to re-energize re the post-war economy. In tandem with an unemployment policies, public work projects flooded the country, with major construction companies allotted huge budgets. Around 1962, one such project, the main route for the Shuto Expressway, was completed ahead of schedule. It was that point that the attention turned back towards NB. Idle laborers and resources were funneled into the area from central Tokyo, at which point work on the building commenced in earnest. 
it's likely there wasn't any time to think of preparing proper blueprints for NB at that stage. Yoshito really likes this girl named Fiume Yuki. He always sits me on his lap and tells me all about her. Everything is perfect about her, he says. Her singing, her dancing, her looks, everything. He says she's one in a million among idols. I can't do any of those things, I can't sing and I can't dance, but what I can do is curl up and fall asleep on Yoshito's lap. I love doing that. I also just love hearing Yoshiko talk about talk to me so happily. Dip and then we go back. At least that one was fast. So did Did they somehow digitize the cat? Did the cat get, like, trapped in a wall and its memories became data? What is the link here? What is the answer? This is interesting and weird and seems to be dipping into pseudo actual history of Japan because I could definitely believe that public construction works were given huge budgets to boom the economy. Nakano Broadway Construction Part 3. With no blueprints to draw upon, concrete was poured and rebar was erected tailored to the land around the site. When construction was concluded four years later, the final building had three underground floors, as well as ten floors above ground. East Asia's greatest commercial building was therefore constructed on little more than sheer willpower. However, this came at a cost at some aspects of NB's integrity. The escalator, for instance, only connects to the first three floors. Most of the underground floors have also gone unused in the ensuing years. Such quirks are a direct result of the circumstances surrounding the building's inception. Yoshito told me that he and his son have been in a World's Fair, been to a World's Fair once. He said that the line to see the moon rocks was really long, so long that it made them tired. But he said his son still had a good time. People also call Yoshito Chief Mizushime. His full name is Yoshito Mizushime. Yoshito is a big, important man in the computer room, so he doesn't get to go out with his son much. He's glad they got to see the World's Fair. I wish I could have seen the World's Fair with Yoshito too, but he and I are always together in the computer room. So that's okay. I'm content. And with how m the guy was apologizing. What the hell happened to this cat? But at least it answers why Pete originally took the form of the idol. Because he, he was told all about her. Definitely makes sense. At least on that front. Granted, I never really questioned it. Digiline, this is not really a good time. Farm goods. I've answered that one like three times. Three! Three for three answers! <laughs> I'm going to assume this is going to take me up a floor. Not going to know Broadway Construction Part 4. In most cases, large commercial buildings are run by their owners, who control everything from PR to tenants and internal bylaws. BW was an exception to that rule. From the very start, shop and residential spaces alike were sold piecemeal. People who bought their real estate inside the building were then free to utilize it however they pleased. Because of this, soon after NB opened, shop owners and residents started remodeling work on their respective stores and apartments. In the end, this meant the formal blueprints for NB weren't drafted until eight years after the building was originally completed. Even in those early days, the building's layout had already become so unwieldy for anyone to fully grasp at that stage. Yoshito always has me sitting on his lap, petting my head all nice and gently. I love Yoshito. 
Yoshido always calls me Miko. Miko is a girl's name, but Yoshido gave it to me, so I love it. Where the fuck do we go now? Feels a little odd. I figured that maybe I'm missing one, but where could I have missed it? I should probably put on the high security. Because it's gonna be a lot of searching, I feel. But again, what happened to the cat? Like, they played it up like it was a big surprise. But also, it feels a little weird that the memory is started. Oh, I missed one here. Not gonna Broadway construction part five, but I'll, I'll finish my thought. It's odd that it started with Pete's memory of us saving him and then went forward or maybe it's because we're gathering these memories and they're unfolding within pete the basement of broadway once housed a vacuum tube computer within its walls it had been brought into the building after the end of world war ii by war criminals who evaded arrest shielded from the prying eyes of the macarthur's ghq the vacuum tube computer's purpose in those days remains a mystery it's possible it could have been utilized for things such as mathematical computation or code breaking, but such speculation is unconfirmed. As time went on, there was eventually nobody left to carry on the original purpose set forth for the terminal. At that point, the computer was apparently buried inside a wall somewhere. It's dark in here. All dark, I can't see a thing. I'm okay being in the dark, I'm not scared of it or anything, but it's never been this dark before. Yoshito's not here. I don't even smell him. I can't go back outside. Yoshito, where are you? Yoshito. Yoshito. Please sit me on your lap and pet my head again. Yoshito, Yoshito. Did they accidentally... Was I right? And they accidentally buried the, the cat in the wall? Now you know. Now you know who I really am. I'm... I'm... So it's begun. Well, I have to say, this is a bit more than what I bargained for. If this keeps up, the building's going to collapse for sure. Who am I? Somebody, anybody, tell me. I'm gonna save. Yoshito Mizushima. Yoshito Mizushima. Ah, uh, no, that's not right. So we have to fight him again. I just wanted to ask about it. Did I do the wrong? Hmm. I... The wrong button. Hmm. Because I'm debating if I want to reset. Because it's obvious I got three answers. But I guess we'll... We'll finish this and if I... Because it's not like he is super difficult, so. We'll just see what happens. And then we'll probably be like, oh, answer the one of the other ones, maybe. And we have to, like, answer him multiple times. That would be an interesting gimmick. Bye, Pete. I killed a friend. That's right. My name is Miko. Yoshito is my friend. Pete is your friend. 
Yoshito is calling out for me. He's been looking for me this whole time. He found me. Yoshito. <sighs> Looks like the tremors have stopped. Just in the nick of time, too. That's my assistant for you. You've done well. Now that I don't have to worry about any broken coffee cups. <laughs> Miko! Miko, it's really you! Yoshito, I'm so sorry. You've been waiting for me for so long. I'm the one who should be apologizing here, N Miko. I'm the one who left you alone this whole time. I'm so sorry, my friend. No, it's okay, really. You don't have to be sorry. I know you sh uh, you've been waiting for me since the day you had to go. Oh, Miko. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, I'd have never lived to see Miko with my own eyes again. I should probably explain. You see, back when the vacuum tube computer room was still around, I lived here in this building, away from my family. That computer room was where I used to work. The only family I ever had with me that whole time was Miko here. I talked with Miko about everything there. My memories of my family, Fuyume Yuki, anything to help keep my loneliness at bay. He would join me in the computer room, and we spent many, many hours together over the years. Eventually, they closed down the room and sealed the whole thing off with a thick wall, like it was never there to begin with. It was around that time that I lost Miko, too. I couldn't find him wherever I looked. I had a bad feeling about where he might have ended up, and came back here, who knows how many times, to rescue him. But in the end, I couldn't do anything for him. I gave up, and over time, Nearly forgot about him. Before I knew it, it had been decades since we'd last been together. I can't thank you enough for making this happen. We couldn't have been reunited without you, kid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we can go back to living together again. Thank you. I'll never, ever forget this day. Man, you're gonna make me cry. So it wasn't him. The building people sealed off the room and didn't fucking check it like assholes. Dark. I see. Nice work. I can only imagine how hard it was, but you really did a good job. So our Pete was actually a cat named Miko, sealed deep inside a wall along with that old vacuum tube computer from the American occupation days. And somehow using the building's intranet, or rather the power of its ley line, he merged with the computer and became a Digimon. That old cat's had a hell of a life, wouldn't you, Greenion? We can't say for sure what the actual assimilation process entailed, but at this point, we know better than to doubt it happened. It's amazing just how much yet, and how little the digital and real worlds are siphoned off from one another. I imagine the reason Pete showed up again after all those years is because the digital wave abnormalities we've seen. But you know, there's still one thing about the whole story that bugs me a little. You mentioned that towards the end, old man Mizushima said now we can go back to living together again, right? What do you think he meant by that? Not only that, but in the case you solved earlier, where he was the one behind the urban legends, how did he keep breaking into the building? Let's assume for the sake of argument that he somehow had access to an entrance that let him come and go at the, the timing he did. If he'd physically been getting into the building so that much that way he's been rep he was being reported, you'd think something would have gone differently. Is he a ghost? Got any theories you'd like to propose? Yoshito Mizushumi. Mizu Shima. If we looked into his backstory, we might be able to find our answers pretty easily. What do you think? Should we dig a little more? Please leave us be. Don't go looking for us. Ah, that's understandable. Then it's probably best we do indeed let sleeping dogs lie. Alternatively, we could let the occult club kids know about this. I bet they'd have a real field day going after it. I mean, they came face to face with a real... Ah, uh, you know what? Nah. Let's keep it to ourselves. Not all my mysteries in this world need to be solved. Nakano Broadway brings many things together. The spirit world and the world of the living, the normal and the surreal, and now the physical and the digital. Truly nothing is impossible in this crazy hole in the wall we call home.
See, now that's how you do a story. That was good. Sleuth rank up. Top cyber sleuth. And I get a memory up. Well, looks like it's just you and me again here. The couches look so empty without Pete around. We better get more clients to keep them warm. But I do believe that shall be a rather semi-delightful end. Kind of heartbreaking and heartwarming. But we've been going long enough, and I still have no fucking idea how long it is until the end. Because, at the very least, it doesn't seem like there's any other side thingies. Aside from the ones on the board that I don't really care about all that much to do. Like, they're the actual side side ones, not the ooh side thingies that are actually main because they're red or whatever. But... Yeah, I just hope that the story picks up a little bit. <laughs> because I just kind of want to get to the end now. It just keeps going and going. Arata became a villain, killed Gallantmon. Like, I mean... Because if I don't finish it next time... Maybe I'll look into see if I can manipulate ABI in any shape, way, or form. Because I just I don't care about the grind. Because it's just a grind. It's a waste of time. If I can just artificially go in and be like, make the ABI max just so I can level up my Digimon into forms that I care about. And then I could grind them off screen a bit. Like, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. But it's just the ABI. I don't want to grind the same Digimon multiple times just to then get to a point where I need to then grind it even more to become usable. It's very, very bothersome, if you ask me. But yeah, more than likely, I'll probably just not care about Digivolving any of my Digimon. Maybe... Lilymon into Rosemon, but I just think that getting leveling up my Digimon to as their max level currently might be better than Digivolving them and leveling them up. Especially because, again, so many of them are like, oh, you need ABI. And the only way to get ABI is to de Digivolve them. Or Digivolve them and then de Digivolve them. It's just like it's very bothersome, and I do not like it. Especially because it takes hours and hours to get them to good levels. And then, like, Digivolving and D-Digivolving have different calculations on how, uh, what they, like, split the level by to give you ABI. It's just very bothersome. Bothersome, bothersome. And there doesn't seem to be a real fast track to leveling up Digimon back to the frickin' 60s and 70s where we're at. So I think I'm just gonna keep my team as it is. But other than that, yeah, I just want the story to kind of pick up. We found a bunch of royal knights, brought one from a parallel dimension, didn't see that coming. And again, Arata has gone off the deep end and killed Gallantmon like an asshole. He has become the D-Reaper. But, yeah, right now it seems that the only mystery left is connecting, like, Nokia, Yuko, Arata, and such to the children that were with Yugo in the beta incident that Suido then went and locked our memories away. That seems to be the only thing we... So, yeah, that, Arata, Suido, and Crusadermon. So, like, only about three or four things are left on the docket, which can probably be bulldozed through, potentially. So we'll just have to wait and see, but... Yep, uh, the Pete storyline was super good. Even though it, like, began without much, like... I, I personally didn't even know that there was a Pete storyline. And then it's like, surprise, there's a Pete storyline, which is interesting. But, yeah, can't wait to see more. I at least want to beat... Cyber Sleuth. 
before Survive comes out in a few days. Bleg. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have a archive YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all these streams eventually end up. So if you want to go there and watch various game playthroughs like Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, Undertale, Kirby's Forgotten World, there's lots of there. Where's the Forgotten Land? Well, I've forgotten all the same. But if you're already one of those people watching the archive, you can come watch me play these games live on twitch.tv slash neonicywings, usually Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Although I may very well do it a bit earlier to get a few more hours in on Cyber Sleuth on Thursday because I want to beat it before Survive comes out. And that still leaves Hacker's memory. That still leaves Hacker's memory, which will be just this but more in a new story. Hopefully it has a better translation. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll try to beat Cyber Sleuth on Thursday. I don't know how many... Actually, you know what? Let us take a look right now. Let's take a look right now. I'm going to use the Steam browser... And how long to beat Cyber Sleuth? How long is Digimon Cyber Sleuth? Main story is 50 fucking hours. I am 30 hours in. When focusing on the main objective, Cyber Sleuth is about 50 and a half hours in length. If you're a gamer that strives to see all aspects of the game, you are likely to spend 116 hours to obtain 100% completion. So I basically have to stop doing any kind of side quest and purely go down the story. Because I've been doing a lot of Well, let's see, is there any other site? Because that was just how long to beat. How long is the game actually? So yeah, people are saying like 50 to 60 hours. Yeesh. So yeah, probably not going to be beating Cyber Sleuth. By the time... I'm gonna spoil myself. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil myself. Cyber Sleuth. How many chapters? Give it to me straight, Doc. Twenty chapters long. And if I go to my achievements, I should be able to find... I am in chapter 16! I have four chapters to go! So, I uh, pretty much should probably... Bleg. More than likely, I will go down the Digimon Survive rabbit hole and be like, Hell yeah! And, like, purely focus on it. Kind of like how I dropped Tunic to play this game full-time on stream. I'll have to go back and do Tunic someday, but that final little bit that I played last time really ticked me off, game developers. So, more than likely, I will do a normal stream on Thursday, because if there are still four chapters to go... And 20 hours to go, according to how long to be. And that's only if I do bare minimum. I guess I'll go back to doing, like, the side quest now that I know that it is physically impossible for me to beat this game in a reasonable amount of time before Survive comes out. So, yeah. More than likely, I'll just play this game normally, do the side quests that are actually side quests and then go and do the main story stuff as they come up. And since it's that much into the future, 
Maybe I will digivolve some of my Digimon into imperfect forms purely to try and get ABI, which will be fucking annoying. Let me tell you. In fact, let me bring up that ABI calculation again if I can find it. Cyber Sleuth ABI Guide. Just tell me how it works. There's an image of the threshold that will cap how many points one can pump into a particular stat of... No, that's not what I care about. I just want ABI. Tell me how the ABI works. Well, apparently you can buy... Miracle Meat somewhere. Tell me the diddly D. Ah, well. Either way, I just know that Digivolving and D Digivolving have different effects. Like, I think if you Digivolve up, you get more ABI per level, or like maximum level you have, and then D Digivolving has like a different calculation. But yeah, so well, probably Digivolve, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, lose my Atomic Blaster. That's cool. Leg. And I don't know where to get Miracle Meat. I'll have to look it all up. This is supposed to be the ending. Blah. But I went on a tangent. Because brain. So yeah. Considering that we have four chapters to go, I might... Digivolve some of my Digimon. And then with the ridiculous fights that we're getting into, maybe they'll level up super fast. And since they start out with higher stats, if I Digivolve them up... Like, that's the problem. If I de-Digivolve them, Digivolve them low, I'll basically have to really crank it up to try and get them up, 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 so I can Digivolve them up faster. Like, I don't know. It just it, ABI is a stupid system, and I hate it. Again, if I can just hack the game to get rid of ABI requirements, I will! But I don't think that there is, be because there is, like, an online component, apparently, to this game, and I don't care about that, and all I want is to Digivolve my Digimon, man. Like, I understand if there's, like, a level or stat requirement that I'm not getting to, because that only happens once every while. Having ABI basically be the hard ha 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 grind, bitch, is an annoying wall to hit, but that'll be something to worry about later. But yes, again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.